Hello and welcome to Drop Frames on this chilly Sunday day, afternoon, evening, morning, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah, dude. I'm done. Sure. It is. Have a good show. I've done everything. <laughs> How cold usually, is it? Uh, I usually don't mind the cold, man. I'm not, I, 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 I don't mind a chilly climate, but like every person has their limit. Unless you have that that weird like, there's some people out there who unless can't you're feel a man, hot. Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, wasn't gonna, no. I wasn't gonna say anything. Jesus, but, you know, <laughs> that's cool. Go ahead. But I just gotta say, cold never bothered me anyway. No, 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 we're not doing that. Damn it. No, I just I have a limit, and I've hit my limit. My I, I found out my limit. My limit for painfully cold uh-huh is like minus two okay like anything minus two or below like or minus two or above i'll survive i'll be fine but anything that like i that's it, it's like flips the switch it's like i'm not going anywhere i'm not i'm not driving anywhere i'm not going outside nothing i will take my Me- dogs out yeah <clears throat> that's it yeah Mean, meanwhile, my man D. Curly here is at, it's like uh, 76 degrees here in South Florida. Okay, that's cool. Thanks for that. <laughs> you, don't, you were asked. Don't, yeah. I swear. Don't give people <laughs> any other reasons to hate Floridians. All right? Don't You don't need to pile on. You got a whole game coming out soon about how uh, oh, for the man. forty, for the 40% of my audience, well, actually, it's more than that because I think Canada used Celsius too. Yeah. For anyone who's not American in my audience, that is minus 18 Celsius. Yeah. 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 It's, it's... also uh, minus 24 Queen's pinkies. I think it's how the UK say it. That's correct. Yeah. Or is it King's pinkies now? I don't know. It's one of those. I mean, who cares, really? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, they don't, they'll, they'll respect both. It's negative four here, uh, real temp, American temp. Uh, I think it's like negative 20 wind chill or something like that. It's cold. I watched my dog go outside and use the restroom, and I was just like, what, how do you, what are you doing? Like, how do you exist out there? It's so cold. And he's just like sniffing the flowers and hanging out, and like doesn't care. To be fair, he's got a banging winter coat. He does, yeah. He's 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 ready for it. He doesn't care at all. Um, mine do too, but they they have a limit as well. <laughs> like usually, when I open the door to the back backyard for, to let them go out, you hear them from the living room like, and then they just run, just dash out the door. You hear the same thing, but but when they get to the back door, they go. Yeah, it stops. They yep. just fucking stop there. It's the same way. It's the same way for Booker. And you go. Yeah. Booker. Booker stands next to the door to go out, and then like you open the door and he just zooms out. But on days like today, he stands next to the door. You open the door. He gets like halfway out and then he just stops. He's like, oh, oh, oh no. You know, I thought I had to go, but apparently not that bad. Yeah. Yeah. And he'll just turn around and walk back inside. Ollie, yep. we we lost oh. Ollie in the snow last night because he was outside laying in it. He just like went outside and plopped down and was like, well, yeah. I'm going to stay here. There you go. <laughs> and then he was covered in snow for about 30 minutes. But yeah, <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. So more power Ollie, to Ollie him. seems like the kind of dog, though, that would like, <clears throat> like <laughs> just lay down, just lay down there and like expire from exposure because he's just like, doesn't okay. care. Just yeah. like, whatever. He's super chill. I'm good he, here. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's true. We'll never know. We'll never know. How cold is it in uh, Montana, Zeke? Have you have you checked in? Because there, it's it's probably like stupid up there. No, I called my mom uh, yesterday, and she, and she didn't know the the exact temperature, but uh, she said it was just it, yeah, it's minus minus degrees. And as we as we all learned that minus two degrees is minus eighteen C. Yeah. Or uh, minus yeah minus two F is minus eighteen C. <clears throat> So like it's around there. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was watching. Uh, it is minus thirteen. It's pretty cold. It's pretty cold. It was uh, just minus twenty five Celsius. I was watching the foosball last night. It was like negative eight, I think, at the stadium with negative thirty wind chill. They cut to one of the uh, the coaches uh, in the football game, 
and he has a mustache, Andy Reid, for those that follow, and it was just icicles. He just had like frozen <laughs> icicles on his beard. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's that sucks. I, I don't I don't ever want to know what that feels like because it can't be good. It cannot feel good to have icicle beard or mustache. You know that it's it's that's gotta be like 80% snot. Yeah, no, hilarious. it's it's gross as well. It's gross as hell, hundred percent. Without question, it's gross. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm sure you can't even feel it though. To be honest, that's that's probably correct. Anyways, that's our weather report here on Drop Frames. Coming up next, we've got 2024's video game releases. We're gonna dive into everything that we've uh, that we know so far. Although it's kind of a sparse year. Uh, it kind of generally is this early on, but we've got we've got some things um, up till like April ish, um, March, and the next couple of months actually have a bunch of things, which is good. Um, and even like this past week slash this next week, we have a, a decent amount of stuff coming out. Um, what was the all's most uh, looking? What, what are you looking forward to most? I I remember mine was Final Fantasy. Do you remember what you put on your list? Co, you were Stalker? Uh, I was Stalker 2 and um, Yakuza. Yakuza, that's right. That's right. Zeke, yep. do you remember what yours Hades. was? Oh, Hades? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if uh, if Hades is three years in a row for Zeke. I hope not. I know, right? <laughs> I felt so stupid after that last year. Like, you know it's not coming out till 24. I'm like, so shut up. Yeah. How about... Yeah. Um, jpedia.net is updated. We'll also use the Game Informer list, which is just simply gameinformer.com slash 2024. Uh, and we'll kind of go through it all. Um, I guess right out of the gate next week, I know, Co, you were playing some of this this morning, uh, Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. Yep. That comes out uh, for early access, I think, on Monday, tomorrow. tomorrow. Um, and then full release on the 18th on pretty much everything. Um I really enjoyed that game. I hit the embargo limit. I don't know if you did. Uh, it's it's pretty deep into the game. Um, I was gonna say there's an embargo limit. It's very you you didn't. I I put uh, 15, 20 hours into it and I hit it. Um, wow. Okay. So it's it's yeah. The game's no. only like twenty five hours long, um, according to reviews. But <clears throat> yeah, uh, I don't believe. Oh you hit oh it. oh. Yeah. No no. The embargo was like it's like right before the end, isn't it? I don't know. It the quest is very uh ambiguous. The you know, shout out to people that send uh those PDFs cuz make it less confusing. <laughs> cuz I was confused for pretty much my entire stream on if I was past the embargo limit or not. Um I don't know where it's at story wise. Uh like percentage I got to it and it says that I'm f I think 50% or 60% of the way through the game. Um, but there's a ton of secrets in that. I, I, we can, I guess, should we just insert our conversation sure. of Prince Persia? Yeah, go ahead. yeah. Uh, I really enjoy it. This game's hidden like the hi fi rushness that it did, uh, for me last year in terms of how much I'm enjoying it because it came out of nowhere. I don't think people, uh, hold, uh, Ubisoft to high regard these days. And, uh, this seems like the most un Ubisoft game <laughs> I've played in a while both on the, the MTX front um, and just like the fact it's a really good game. Uh, but it is a 2D side scroller. It's not doing anything different, better. It's just a solid 2.5D side scroller. Um, and I really like those. Uh, I see a lot of um, like the, the blueprints of Hollow Knight uh, are all over this game in terms of discoverability and, and different upgrades that you get. Um, Cole, what do you think about it? How how are you enjoying it? And also, I'm what difficulty it. are you playing on? Because I think that will shape my conversation around the game somewhat. I'm playing hardest. Okay, it's pretty and, fucking um, hard. It there there are there are times when it's hard, and there are th th thankfully, it's interesting because I I played it and died a whole bunch. Yeah, and then I did the tutorials, and the tutorial has a couple key lines that kind of divulge how the devs want you to play the game. And it made me realize that I was not playing it how the devs wanted me to. And then I started doing that and it got significantly easier. The boss fights so far have been 
I've definitely died on all of them many times, yeah. but they're also the kind of fights where it's like once you get your flow down, they're actually pretty easy. Um, so the, I, what I'm trying to say is I really like the difficulty. It's the kind of difficulty that doesn't feel cheap, um, but at the same time, like if you do mess up, you're punished very <laughs> badly for it. Um, especially on the higher difficulty, like every enemy will hit you for at least one of your three or to four bubbles. And some will hit you for like two and a half of your three bubbles on a big attack that generally is pretty quick. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. It feels like a, a pretty well balanced difficulty. And that with the enjoyable complexity of the combat system, uh, makes it a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm super enjoying it. The overall consensus from Chad has been, it looks like a mobile game. I, I think yeah, I got that so much because, and I was, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. People, people need to understand that any game that comes out as a switch flagship title is going <laughs> to not look good. That's just the end of story. Like this, this game was designed from the ground up to run well on the switch, which means it's not going to look good on anything else. Period. Um, the thing that you need to think about in a situation like that is how does it play? And thankfully it plays really, really well. So it feels good. It feels <laughs> deep. Like it may look mobily to some people, but it doesn't play like a mobile game. It plays like a, a totally legit platformer. Uh, it's very responsive, very tight. I've at no point felt like, um, you know, there was even the slightest bit of lag or the things that, that should have connect didn't and, you know, things like that. So no, man, I'm super enjoying it. It's a great take. And here's, here's another thing that I, we were talking about yesterday. And I'm really surprised a lot of people don't know. So many folks have been like, yeah, this is such a weird direction for Prince of Persia. <laughs> no, but this is where it started. Yeah. Like I had to bring up screenshots of the original game and be like, no, this is what Prince of Persia was before yeah. they did all that other stuff to it. Like this is, this is going back to its roots. Yeah. And uh, frankly, yeah. I haven't beaten it yet, but I'm, I'm planning on to continue playing it. I don't know how long it is. I mean, 25 I, hours not, is what people yeah, are There's saying. not really a lot of stuff coming out over the next couple of weeks. Um, I do want to start my, my Baldur's Gate 3 Dark Urge run. But um, outside of that, like, I'll probably finish this because I'm really enjoying it. Also, the story is getting pretty interesting. Did you? Um, which is kind of fun. What but, was the last story yeah. thing you saw? Because there was, like, a major story cut scene that happened to me, and it turned into an, an anime episode. <laughs> no, I, I probably I am like, not. I was like, this is fucking, these people have definitely watched anime before. There's no way in hell this fight scene exists and is scripted the way it is. That guy's an anime character, 100%. So, so yeah. I don't think I've gotten to that point <laughs> okay. yet. Um, right. I, I'm pretty early. I'm, whenever I like find an area that's new, I generally like explore around and stuff. I'm not going, you know, not only am I playing slowly, but I ha don't have too many hours in it. Yeah. Uh, the last major story development, um, I, don't, I don't know if I want to talk about no, it. No, there, there are some major, I mean, it, it has plot twists and I'll stuff I'll tell you like this, because people have seen this in the thing. The last major story thing I did was find the bow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you're very early on. Yes, yeah. I'm pretty early. So that, but even then, like from that scene, there was like m many different things where it's like, wait, why did that happen? Why is that like that? Why is he like that? And then you come out and talk to a guy and it's like, why did he say that? Yeah. Like yeah, all yeah. these, all these very interesting little things are happening. Um, I definitely thought when I first entered the area, there were a couple things that happened that were kind of tropey. And I was like, oh, we're doing this. Okay, cool. That's what this story is going to be like. And then I got to that part and I was like, oh, okay. Maybe, you know, pleasantly surprised. Maybe it's not going to be like that. Maybe this is going to be a little bit more complex. So, yeah. Um, yeah. It's kind of yeah, I mean, it, 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 at, the end of a, at the end of the day, it's it's a Prince of Persia game. You know, there's going to be some timey wimey bullshit. Yeah. It. Oh, just, and I guess technically, that's yeah, it, it it, for those that played the demo, technically I did. I beat, I beat the boss recent. I think the last major boss I did was the one that you get to at the end of the demo, but you don't get to fight. And then right after that is when you get your uh, your air dash. So I'm, I'm okay. right around that. All well. right. I think I know it because I I did not play the demo. So I was not, I wasn't sure uh, what the actual content of that was. Um, but I The demo is interesting because it starts you with a bunch of stuff that you don't get until like, like you, you start the demo with air dash oh. and, uh, and all sorts of things. So it, you'd start with a bow and, and it all, is a little slow in the beginning. see so. that stuff. So yeah, yeah. I can see why they the demo kind of speeds things up. Yeah. The very first uh, Prince of Persia game came out in 1989. I had no idea it was that long ago. I played it on the Mac. Yeah, that tracks. That's, <laughs> yep. that's old. It's platform Apple yeah. II. That's, yeah. that's yeah. where it came that's out. That's right. Because I, I was looking for it. I was like, maybe I could play it. And then it said platform Apple II. I'm like, nah. I yeah. was thinking about it. It's your thon but uh, nah. <laughs> do you, no. Do you need me to send you an Apple II? <laughs> uh, capturing it, dude. Like, 
uh, this is this is the gotta have bga like, out what dude, is it what does it have you can out? you can you can do scuzzy to rca and then oh, RCA okay, okay, to okay. HDMI. let me let me tell you the the thing that i've had like the the conversation that i've had during cd ramathon and i've had it ever since cd ramathon began hold on why don't you my volume's up let me turn machine. up my excuses give me one second okay all right go, what, what, oh, this, isn't ex- this isn't excuses i would do it but here's the reason why i don't do it the, the reason why i don't do an old machine and just capture the old machine because i could I, I mean feasibly could do that the reason why i don't is because certain games don't run well but uh only run well on one os and i have to have access to like five, four or five at least different os's uh-huh. to run a game properly so like having an old machine means fine i'll have like xp or 95 or, or whatever but that doesn't mean I'll be able to run an old game because, you know, it, it won't run on XP or 95 or this or that or the other thing. So, like, unless I unless I want to fill my room up, don't fucking say it. But unless I want to fill my room up with old PCs, I don't. Uh, this is the most feasible way to do this. That's fair. Makes That's sense. Fair. Yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm watching you do <laughs> these. You already uh... use VMs and stuff, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah you yes, yes. Yes, I do. I'm watching you do these parries. I'm I'm glad to see you struggle as much as I do with the parries in the game because the window yeah, is so tight. Yeah, the parries tight. are it's very tight. The parries yeah. very tight, and the, a lot of the attacks are very fast. Yes. So like those those um those guys I just died to in particular, they have a, a super folk. quick forward slash, and then they have this thing where they jump in the air and slam down. But the funny part is before they jump in the air, they do a move. They look like they're doing a slash. So they'll start doing the jump into the air. You think they're attacking, you parry, they jump up in the air, they slam down on you, but you've already parried, so you can't parry again quick enough. So it's just, yeah, it, there's there's lots of enemies that have a lot of, it, a lot of little gotcha moves. Yeah. I'm sure, because you said you did the the like tutorialization from the, in the Haven or whatever, the like home base thing. It It is very much fighting game-esque in terms of the mm-hmm. combos that you can do. Um, and, and it like actually teaches you how to air juggle in this game, because it's Dude. needed against a lot of stuff. There were so many moves in this, those tutorials that I didn't even know you could do. Like like attack, attack, dodge, attack for like a back thing. Yeah, and then like yeah. the charge up in combos thing. And then like the air dash, up, like keep knocking them up and then slam on the ground. Like there, there's lots of And it of gets even more complex. I, I've unlocked pretty much. Did you know you can, did you know you could parry your chakra? Yes. Oh yeah. 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 That's yeah, useful like, I didn't as hell. even know that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Freaking cool stuff. Yeah, I've, I've done, I think I've gotten everything except the last unlock and every single thing that you unlock has like three or four different aspects that you can do in a fight that kind of change everything um in terms Very of cool. it being a fighting game-esque style combat so i'm i'm loving the game it's a lot of fun um it is very difficult though especially at the start when you have three hearts and you haven't like gotten any of the upgrades or anything the game punishes the you hell out of you done the tutorials yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah the game really punishes you the cool thing, though, is it actually has a very in-depth, like, uh, difficulty selection. So you can just go in and customize it, and it's got sliders for, like, enemy HP, parry windows, um, damage that they do. And there's a ton of different options. So you could just go in there and be like, yeah, I want to be able to make it hard, but I want the parry window to be, like, the biggest it can be. And so you just turn that up, and it, it makes the game a lot easier. But also, everything else still does a shit ton of damage. So it's uh, it's cool to see that type of stuff that they went in and, and didn't just have like a easy, medium, hard. I think Immortal is like the highest rank. Um, and even and, beyond Immortal, uh, you can bump. I think Immortal puts the enemy HP at 1.5. You can bump that up to 2.0 uh, X, uh, which mm. some of those mobs, just the normal mobs, already have so much HP. Um, I'll, I'll they really do. Kind of oh, story. man. Yeah, yeah, they have like ton. three three freaking full combos all ending with a heavy attack and they're still just like charging you like it's nothing yeah 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 uh, just watching that attack, clip so that's uh just watching those clips it seems like i i know the answer to this but is it is it just only uh 2d or does it ever go to like yep. 2.5b Mm-mm. it's a straight up metroid okay. man. i mean the, is, okay. <clears throat> there's cut scenes that go 3d uh um, yeah. sure but yeah 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 all the yeah, game you never like is, fight this okay whatever. this feature's awesome check this out this is one this is a cool so feature what, what I just did was I took a screenshot of the area that puts it on my map. And then I can mouse over that in the future 
to see not only the marker that I placed, but also a actual screenshot of the location. So like, I, I can't double jump yet. I can't get above those spikes. So I was like, let me take a screenshot of that. So I know to come back here later when I can double jump. Yep. And at any oh point, I can mouse over that. Oh my God. It seems right? so simple, but it's, it's awesome. so good. And that's yeah, actually so a thing good. that you get upgrades for uh, in the game. Holy shit, dude. To increase the number of those memories that you can it's have. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh, one thing I did do is I oh did God. change in options. You yeah, can change your cool. map from unguided to guided. Yes. And I made it guided. Oh, I really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm using it unguided like and it's... Uh, no I difficulty see. adjustments at all. But what's really nice is when you open the map, it shows you where you haven't been yet. Yeah. So it makes it like real easy. You just hop yeah. over the map. You're like, okay, where would I go now? I haven't been here. Let me go that way. You know, so that's... Yeah. Yeah, that... Nice. Oh, God damn. How many times have you been in a Metroid game? It was like, okay, there's this... There's this... Dis there's this uh, different colored stone block. Where the fuck was it? I have the yeah. block crushing thing. Yeah. I saw like four of them and I don't remember where one of them was. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a fucking cool feature. That that girl, uh, Fariba here, you can actually, so if you're playing, uh, oh, you have the hint, this is perfect. Uh, you can buy a hint if you're playing ex exploration and it'll be like, well, you haven't fully explored this area. Perhaps you should go check that out type deal. Um, so it has like multiple ways to guide you where to go um there's is co showing this is great you got upgrades different things you can buy um, you can also upgrade your passives as well so not yes. only do you have like a set amount of passives that you can get you have like x amount of amulet slots and then the different passives take different amounts of amulet slots um but then you can upgrade those as well so you very can hollow night to do that so farming is a yeah very hollow nighty yeah absolutely yeah uh, there's been a lot of hollow night comparisons in this game which yeah. makes sense they're both kind of metroidvania -y, it's so. great too yeah yeah um you can also so, upgrade your weapons and stuff in here and yeah. overall i'm i'm having a blast just like you i i think uh yeah, if solid, you're very it's, solid game here i chat brought this up a lot i'm sure it came up in your chat as well it's a 50 dollar game that's that's yeah. the price point is a lot um it it really depends i mean 25 hours if that's how long it is it's it's not a bad price point but it is it is a lot and it's probably going to go on sale in the future i could see this being like a, a deep discount uh sometime later this year on like steam sales My guess it's not even, it's not even wanted, on steam but they yeah. wanted a near full price switch game and they didn't want to like drop the price on every other console like that's yeah. my guess at why it seems really expensive but i i would say like this is easily like a 30 dollars game it's a dave the diver like it's one of those games where it's like it's it's an easy an easy recommend if it were a little bit cheaper but if you're if you are really into metroidvania if you like metroidvanias it's probably worth full price to you if you plan on especially if you plan on going everywhere and doing everything yeah uh it's a pretty big map and there's a lot to do but you know if you're the kind of person who wants to do like a one playthrough one and done kind of thing may want to wait a little bit yeah it'll it'll probably be on sale at some point but yeah yeah it's really good uh i'm sure it'll come up uh, next week oh yeah and as people in chat are mentioning <clears throat> if you do have ubisoft plus for some reason there's subscription it will be on program, that yeah. tomorrow yeah yeah yeah. Um, and it's, I think, tomorrow for digital deluxe owners only, 18th for everyone. I don't, what do you, is digital deluxe, do you get like a skin? What do you, what, I don't even know what's in. I think, I think the digital deluxe is primarily the three days early. It's the three day early. Um, okay. I think, I don't know what else comes with that, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think when they gave me my key, it was for a deluxe edition. I didn't notice. I got a any skin. There's like an immortal or... skin. You can change the, the way the character Maybe. looks um okay. it does have that stuff in there but it's it's not like in your face and i have found skins within the game um that are like hidden. oh have you yeah okay i found one um there's a lot of hidden stuff in this game um and to speak some of the later boss fights they do get pretty fucking hard <laughs> like in some of those fights you pretty much have to play perfect uh in terms of parrying everything um and it's it's like all right this is the parry section you remember how to parry? Great. You're going to do it about 30 times in a row. And if you miss one, you're dead. Good luck. Um, and those fights are fun, but they're also pretty difficult. So, uh, yeah. That, I loved all the boss fights so far. Yeah, it's good. That, uh, like we said, comes out tomorrow. <laughs> Jumping back to our uh, video game release schedule. Uh, if you want to follow along, jpd.net or gameinformer.com slash 2024. What else comes out this year? Turn up boy robs a bank. Zeke, okay. are you going to play Start that? Strong. <laughs> That's I it. might. I might actually. Turn up boy. I played, uh, I, I think it was the first uh, iteration of that game. Um, and it was fun. It was goofy. It was weird. Um, it was, a. I think it was a little subversive, meaning like 
it looks cutesy, but there's some like dark undertones to it, if I'm not mistaken. If yeah. I have the right game, okay. I do play a lot of games. Um, yes, I played. Oh, Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. <laughs> that well, it's in the title. <laughs> Great. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of like it's. It looks like Pokemon, but it's like talks about tax evasion. So there's a little bit of adult th- themery in there. Great. And uh, I didn't play theory. it for for overly long. I played it for an hour and a half, but. It was fun. It was, uh, and I bet it's gonna be good. I uh, like the, the developer's got a great, great name, Snoozy Kazoo. That's the developer. Yep. Uh, published yep. by Graffiti Games. So there you go. Um, what else is out this month? Uh, Last of Us Two, Last of Us Part Two remastered. If you want to jump into that, that's uh, this coming Friday. It looks like. Um, that will have. You gotta hurry up and get it out before the series. Yeah, well, that that will have. They got a year till that's uh, season two. Hits. Yeah, I was gonna say they got they got time for that. Um, oh, but that really? will have oh, the shit. that's gonna have that roguelike roguelite mode. I don't know which exactly it is. There's some additional content in that. It's not just a remaster. Um, and a lot of the previews have said that it is. Uh, it's good. So I'm sure that will uh, that'll come up and maybe. One of us will check it out, or at least it'll be in the news. Uh, I think anything. Last of Us kind of. Is, makes the news these days um with how big oh, the ip has got why is last of us why, why did last of us 2 need remastering oh uh money money yeah that's an easy one yeah yeah they need to remaster the dollar bill uh, <laughs> they need no, to remaster uh, just, their, their bottom line yeah. mm-hmm. for, for anyone who cares uh after after uh, january after cd ramathon is wrapped up i do uh since i don't do indie days during the month i do a full week just a full week of indies so any games that you see today that come out like in January or have come out in the last whatever, let me know. Put them in my Discord. There you go. Like oh. Turnip Boy. Real quick, thanks, Grevin. Uh, Prince of Persia, get the most out of your adventure with a digital deluxe edition, which includes a digital adventure guide, in game content such as a prosperity bird amulet and the immortal outfit for Sargon. Oh, you that bird? An exclusive you... in game warrior within outfit. Really? Do you, I'm using that bird, and I didn't know that the was like additional. The bird's on, but it like it's sort of okay, I guess. It's like annoying it, to be it just, honest. It, it just gets... tweets every time <laughs> yeah. you enter any room with treasure, and it's like a lot of the treasures just out in the open, so it's kind of like you didn't need to do that. I don't yeah, know. I just like the little tweeting. So it's yeah, I I will. Pro- I've gotten close to turning it off. I didn't realize that that's part of a digital deluxe. Thing. Not pay to win, pay to be annoyed. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. I didn't realize. I'll that. probably turn it off. It doesn't really help. Yeah, yeah. it's just. Yeah, it's it just follows you around. Yeah. Uh, what else is there? Immortality comes out on PS5. If you haven't had access to play that on any other platform, uh, that's on the 23rd. Um, Great game. If you haven't played it, you should play it. It's excellent. If you yeah. like FMV games, or even if you just like good uh, script and writing with real life actors, it's good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, potentially the biggest game of the month. Uh, there's maybe one or two other contenders. Is Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth? That's on January twenty sixth. Uh, PS5, Dude, I... Xbox, PS4, Xbox oh One, my PC. God. Yeah, I was scrolling through Twitter like two days ago, and it was just one of those those previews. And okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. It's it's a major spoiler. <laughs> okay, but I need I need people to know that I know it because I have to say it at some point. Zeke, t- um, is, is Zeke t- yeah, is, take your. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold. The, I'm gonna do the spoiler hand. Can okay. we have a spoiler thing I on think, the screen I real quick? We, uh, I don't have spoiler tags. It'll on be this quick. One. It'll be quick. But I, I just, this was one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. This, okay. This. There you go. I, we got there one we go. spoiler. Okay, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. So and many of you probably already know this because you guys have been following along with the stuff. So I'm, I'm scrolling through Twitter and I think it was on the official account, right? Or maybe it was the RGG account, and. It's play. It starts playing a little video of like a dragon, and I was like, "Oh, cool! Like a dragon. That's great. Like a dragon." And uh, so I'm watching it for for tw- maybe 20 seconds, and the first thing flips, and it's yeah, and 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 the first thing flips over, and it's like, "Play as Kasuga as you check out Hawaii," and then it shows him fighting, and then the next screen pops up, and it's like. Kiryu's dying of a fatal disease and doesn't have much time left. Make the best of his last years. And then oh, it shows yeah. him fighting. And I was like. Yeah. I didn't realize that was a spoiler because they it was so matter of fact in all the trailers. <clears throat> I seriously was just staring at my phone like, what? 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that was a spoiler because it's just like it's so out there in the trailer. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm baffled that they chose to like in the first like few seconds of this little thing just be like, I mean, bam, bomb drop. Now hold on, first. hold on a second. Like, don't you like when you boot up a, a Yagoza game or a lot of Japanese games that are really story heavy? Do you not like immediately go like skip skip the opening? I scene? do, I do. The problem <laughs> was when when I was scrolling through Twitter and just watching this little thing on the RGG account, ah. like it was literally. I was just like, oh cool, let me see what the combat. Like I, I was, it was in the first like ten seconds of this thing. Yeah. This wall okay. of text pops up with a major spoiler, and I was just like, no. Okay. It's I, and I you know what the worst part is? If you knew what the spoiler was, Zeke, you too would be like. <laughs> but you'll see you'll see my guess my guess honestly my guess is that they're gonna play with that spoiler i don't think it's quite as cut and dry as they make it seem that's my Maybe. hope at least but you yeah. know it was definitely a slap across the face yeah okay anyway, yeah we're done i don't want to i don't yeah. want to even yeah it <laughs> i just i love it's... i love japanese games because it's it's like here's the characters that are going to be in the game and then, then the character will be labeled like mysterious stranger is bleh. here's like yeah what? He's yeah. not mysterious Dude, I'll, anymore. Yeah. I'll never forget. It's like between what is it, two and six? I think one of the one of the introductions shows in the intro one of the main characters like pointing a gun at the other and then firing, yeah. and it's just like, yeah. like why would you? <laughs> why? Why would you show that? Like, oh my god, dude! That's and funny. then the entire the entire game. I remember that was one of the ones that I accidentally kind of like had running, and I ca and I caught out of the side of my eye. The entire yeah. game, I was just like, when is this guy gonna get shot? What is like why, why what's, what's good? Is it because of that? No, it wasn't because of that. Was it because of that? No, it's not because of that. There oh. was a, a there was a, a pretty what's the word? I guess visited, viewed uh preview that came out recently that heralded that game as the best Pokemon game they've played in years. So I don't know what the hell's in that game. <laughs> you're, talking, you're talking about infinite wealth? Yeah. So Dude, not only that, uh, uh, the the we have you Zeke, have you heard of the island thing? I saw the, the island, yeah. I saw the trailer for that. The oh Animal God, Crossing dude. Island deal, yeah. It, that's literally an entire game. That is an entire game in itself is managing this island. Yeah. Like apparently, at what I read a preview where it, it uh, or like a line from a preview, somebody sent it to me. They were like, "There's, I think they said there's 13 specific different game mechanics in that island like, like 13 different loops that you can do yeah um just in the and, and that's not even talking about the, the game it's just this little island it's gonna be um, a big game oh man for sure Ooh, can't wait should be a big yeah, one yeah no that's 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 the like a dragon series man it's it's like i mean the some people the real game is the mini games yeah yep yeah it absolutely the real the real game is the total package that the it's not it's not the real game is never just the main story although it generally is great funny enough and is worth just the main story but like the game the reason those games are so special is just all the love and care they put into every aspect of them it's yeah incredible yeah uh that's the 26th and then the other big release in terms of uh 1.0s is tekken 8 uh the same day oh yeah uh for any fighting game fans out there uh Early access stuff, we have got two big uh, releases in January. Uh, the first one being Pal World, which is Pokemon with guns. Uh, if that's something that interests you. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> you, you, and, well, it's Pokemon with guns and also slave labor. So they really just, uh, they, they got... To be fair, that's Pokemon. I guess that's Pokemon, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. We'll see how that releases. That's on uh, the 19th this Friday. Uh, for oh, it is access. unapologetically Pokemon. I thought they would yeah. like change it up a little. That is like you look at that's like, oh, that's a that's a parody of this Pokemon. That's a parody of this Pokemon. Like, yeah, you could absolutely see it's like just barely out of copyright like infringement. No, I mean those are. Oops, I got the spoiler thing on. Those are uh, those are Pokemon. <laughs> and you can give them guns and uh, put them yeah. to work in a factory. To do, I don't know what, but it's it's a thing. Um, I think this is also multiplayer, so there's a chance this could have some 
some silliness in it, some funness uh, mm-hmm. in in it. We'll have to see how. I'm it all looking goes. forward to this coming out and and people trying it and like. You yeah, know, I'll probably look at it on Friday. Worth playing. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, you're just shooting Pokemon with the fucking like AR. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, it's kind of uh, wild. That's, yeah, that's awesome. Wild. I love it. Yeah. Do you shoot them into submission and then I don't them know capture them and I, then heal uh, them and then enslave them? God. I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. I should. I probably shouldn't be laughing. It's weird. Uh, my chat's saying it's one to four co-op and also 32 person dedicated servers. So yeah, that's going to be an interesting quote out of context, Zeke. What yes. you just said. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with the laugh. No one ever takes me out of context. Yeah, that never happened. What are you talking about? That never happened. Uh, that is on the 19th. And then the other big early access release of this month is Enshrouded, which uh, you both have played and really enjoyed. Uh, yeah, when at is one that? Point. That's, That's pretty soon, right? 24th. Uh, so that is a uh, week and a half from now, next Wednesday. Yep. Yeah, that's when that drops. Um, yep. I've been uh, waiting for that cool. because I have played out once human. Like, I am like... Oh, you're done. I logged in. I logged in just yesterday. And I'm like, okay, what else is there to do in this game? And I'm just like, nothing I give a shit about. So like, I'm just waiting. <laughs> I would just no. I mean, I just like I'm max level. I've done like all the like I've made my weapons like uh and weapons and armor. I've done the the um now I can't remember the word for it, but you like empower them sure. on your benches. Yeah. Um, I made them all maxed out, and now I'm just like, shit. Now what do I do? And I've been waiting for Enshrouded because that is going to uh, going to take the place nice. because it has that 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 turn off your brain building aspect, gathering and building aspect that I just you know helps me relax. I guess. Oh wow! Yeah, somebody somebody just pointed out in the PAL world Calibrate. uh in the PAL world uh, Steam description, it says uh, working rights don't exist for PALs, so let them work till their end for you and your factories. <laughs> yeah. I, I told you they weren't. <laughs> Let them work till their end. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> that game's going to have some headlines in it. <laughs> My oh, God, dude. It's, great. It's going to be. I love it. <clears throat> it's got some good, like, TikTok bait in there for sure. So it'll be, it'll be out there. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, it'll be out that's there. A thing. It'll be out there. Um, I love an unapologetic, like, game like that. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Fuck it. Right? Why not? <laughs> not? Uh, let's move on to February. Uh, for any JRPG weebs out there, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink comes out the 1st of February. That just has a demo that came out, I think, two, three days ago. Uh, if you want to check that out. Looking like it could be a lot of fun. There is a lot of anime stuff. We got a new one munch pa- or one munch? One munch <laughs> ban. I was gonna say one munch one, ban. One <laughs> one munch man is a totally different thing, JP. <laughs> That's true. We don't, That's we don't true. talk about that on live. I'd, I'd watch one munch pan though. I would watch the hell out of that show. That would be pretty one good. munch pan sounds like a Denny skillet. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was gonna say what one munch pan is like a cooking show. I, yeah. I'd watch that. Like yeah. is one of those skillet things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh man, the February first and second has Grand Bo- Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, One Punch Man, Jujitsu Kaisen, and Persona 3 Reload. All on that's a two- lot of Japan. <laughs> all in two days. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh also February the second. God, a lot of big games dropping on the, the well, a lot of games, let's say, dropping on the first and second. <laughs> uh February second has Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. We can kind of talk about that. That game's been in the news this past week for some interesting uh reasons. It previewed and pretty much like all of the previews said, <laughs> Yeah, this game's bad. Uh this game's like not it's not turning out to be a very good game and that's unfortunate yeah. and so what warner brothers did was remove the nda on the closed beta so they could get other people to talk about the game to be like you guys liked it you guys were having fun right other people that right yeah <laughs> and it, it's, it didn't really it kind of worked i don't know it, it was kind of a weird thing um I think I'm going to check it out. They, the full disclosure, they, they reached out and said, Hey, do you want to stream this sponsor? And I said, eh, sure. We'll see how it goes. Uh, and so we're jumping with some, some other creators and yeah, we're going to see how it goes. I, I had the same thing happen. 
I was always planning on checking it out. Yeah. And they reached out and they said, hey, do you want to do a sponsor stream for it? And I had the exact same reaction. Uh, and then they were like, you can play with Dan. Yeah. Like, okay, fine. Yeah. I'll play with Dan. <laughs> <laughs> So like we're all JP. Doing, I think yeah. there's a big there's a big big amount going out for that. What's that, Zeke? Does the M does the MCU crew know you've done this? You've betrayed them. Uh, funny enough, the MC MCU crew would actually say DC is uh, in better uh, shape. <laughs> so I don't know if it's a betrayal. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. fair. That's fair, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we will see how that goes. Uh, we we will definitely be checking it out. Doesn't look strong. Somebody said, somebody said Co just threw Dan under the bus. I think it's the opposite. What? Yeah, that, I would say it's <laughs> yeah. the opposite. Yeah, no, literally. Yeah, yeah. man. Um, here's a game that looks... I'd, wa I'd, wa I'd watch paint dry with Dan if they paid me. It'd just probably like, be fun. I agree. Yeah, it'd probably be fun. It'd probably make it fun. Um, yeah. what? They'd have to pay him. <laughs> <laughs> to watch paint dry or to play with Dan? To watch paint dry with Dan. Oh, watch paint dry. Yeah. I was, uh, I, I was making it like it was with Dan, you know? That was the joke. I got you. I got you. Yeah. What is Vampire the Masquerade Justice? Because that comes out on February 2nd. What? Well, <laughs> the first thing that came to mind was, what is Vampire the Masquerade Justice? Oh, uh, that Bloodlines was released five oh, years ago. And we've already played it. <laughs> that's the VR game that apparently is pretty good. Well, it has people talking favorably about it. Uh, you, you play a VR In a vampire. gritty main narrative that includes several side missions and dialogue options. Explore a dark and mysterious Venice to improve your ability and become the most powerful vampire. Wait, let me read that again. In a gritty main narrative that includes several side missions and dialogue options. It makes it sound like they have three. Like it's, three dialogue options and three side missions. Yeah. It's a VR game, I guess. You do what you can. Several. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, that, I don't know if that's a quest exclusive, by the way, but it is. It's not. Okay. It's, it's uh, not. available. You know, I'm on their official website. Yeah. Meta you can quest. get it on Meta, PlayStation, and Steam. Got it. Yep. Okay. So it's a, it's multi platform. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Be a stealthy vampire. Inter Dude, that's that right now, that last two minutes is the first time I've ever heard of this game. Yeah. I, I, I watched the trailer for it, but I didn't realize that was the name of the game. So, <laughs> wait, wait, can you rewind it just a second? Uh, yeah. Where do you want to go to? I want to see this whole like the vampire drop down on this guy. Oh, did I already skip? Right. Oh, right I think here. it's right here. Yeah, he like flashed forward. That looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like what? 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 What even happened? He I just, he just like warped to him, and the dude like stroked out on the ground. <laughs> Ah, uh, like, you think you projected your shadow at him? You haven't played much VR games, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> <laughs> I fi I finally got my VR yeah. room set up. I'm yeah. in the process. I I got the quest talking to the VR. Did machine, you finally get VR it capturing? Talking. Okay, I did. Yeah, nice. thank you to for, to uh to all those those dev things. Unfortunately, yeah. over wireless is just it doesn't work. I can't the capture over wireless. The it's quality's just too low. Yeah. It's like watching a it's like watching a 240 bit rate Twitch stream. Yeah. But my issue now is that I was not aware that NDI. Mm -hmm. had such weirdness in its quality really so like i'm I'm trying to ndi the 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 quest three preview to my streaming machine but it has like this weird hitching thing to it and there's not a lot of stuff to huh. test and fix so i'm gotta keep working with it i'll gotcha. figure it out yeah yeah uh and then uh after vampire the masquerade helldivers 2 that game's looking really fun i feel like that game yeah. is gonna be uh kind of a Kind of like a uh, Starship Troopers esque hit, and and we'll hit all of those same yep. notes. Um, should be a lot of fun. That's on the eighth, uh, PS5 and PC. Though most of the marketing I think is around PS5 for that. So looking pretty fun. Um, kind of just I'll read these off. You guys can tell me. This is from the uh, the Game Informer list. You guys can tell me if any of these. Hold on. Are when did Helldivers One come out? <laughs> a while back. Yeah, Long a time. while back. <laughs> I think it was PS3 years. game. Years and years ago. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It's got kind of a cult following, I would say. Okay. Um, yeah. Pretty old, but still a lot of fun. Uh, anyways, tell me when to stop if any of these are interesting uh, to you. Banishers, Ghost of New Eden, Ultros, 
Uh, RZ, the Jewel of Faramore. Tomb Raider 1 to 3 remastered. Played up. That's a console release. Uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. That's a Switch title of the 16th. Skull and Bones. We can stop there. That is finally releasing <laughs> on February the 16th. We will finally have that game out in 1.0. Oh, Banishers. I remember this game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the one where like the person he's with is a ghost and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That game actually looks good. Ghosts. Yes. It's from Don't Nod. He's, yeah, trying, he's, trying yeah. to, he's trying to save his wife, right? That's the story. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Could be cool. Kind Ultras. of Witcher-esque. I don't know Ultros what... is a psychedelic cosmic Metroidvania. Okay. Okay. Great. That's, that's interesting. Fantastic. And then RZ. That's probably some. That's probably some. It doesn't even. It doesn't even have a description. Thing. That's probably some. It does. It looks kind of animu-y. Yeah. A bit. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like an anime. Okay. Any game that has more than four words in it, <clears throat> you can rest assured it's an anime game. That's just. That's that's how it goes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, skull, skull and bones. It's actually one point oh. It's I, finally. I think they, they it's actually they pulled, They're pulling the trigger, getting yeah. it out there. Yep. Do you think it'll release? Oh, it's going to. I mean, I point, I think at this point it's locked in. I they're two. They're a okay. month out. I think at this point they can't spend more resources on. It. Yeah. Like I I think they had to draw a line. They got to make some money on it. Done. They well, just, yeah, they got to get it out there. The last. The last, like, I don't know if it was sponsored, but I, I know, like, uh, it was playable. And I think you could buy into it to play, so they've already kind of made some money. The last the last one was definitely sponsored. Okay. There, were, uh, there were many sponsored streams. Oh, it they, was they've sponsored. Been, they've been doing pretty much sponsored streams every time they have come up. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, we will see. You ever, you ever uh, be cooking a dish, and you're like, man, eh, this could use a little bit of this. And then use a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit more salt, uh, a little bit more pepper. I have a feeling that Skull and Bones is going to be like, this is just spice. It's terrible. I fucking hate it. Like, you've so added so here's, much. you tried to fix funny. it so many times. Where, where you're going, the analogy you're using isn't totally accurate, but what you're saying okay. is exactly correct. And yeah. what it is is they didn't keep adding stuff. They didn't keep okay. adding ingredients. They kept changing the ingredients. So, like... The game so, was so they'd supposed... fish the chicken out and be like, "Nah, this would be better with pork." <laughs> yes, kind of, absolutely. They they kind of they kind of like throughout the course of the whole production. Like first, it started as we want to take like the ship stuff from Black Flag and make it this deep, like single adventure, completely based around the ship stuff. And then apparently they tried to do that, didn't work out. Then they streamlined it. People were like, "This isn't enough." Then they brought it, more mechanics back in, but they made them like weird, like the the drive by harvesting from the ship and stuff. Like yeah. they've they've at this point they have taken so much feedback that I'm guessing it's all just white noise, and they just like they don't even know where to go with it anymore. Apparently, the last uh, beta, people were kind of like feeling okay about the game. They're kind of like if you focus on the parts that work and are good, then and and you like that, then it's a fine game. Like yeah. if you, the, the sailing around looks pretty, um, the, the, you know, if you like shooting at other ships and there's some epic moments when you're splashing by each other and cannons are roaring and everything, but pretty much everyone I had talked to that played it was like, yeah, it gets real old, real fast. Like, it's just, you, you know, after a couple hours, like you're just, you're just done. Like there's not really like a long-term progression. The main little voice acted story thing apparently is not that interesting and not very long from, or in the, in the beta, in the beta yeah. obviously be a lot longer, but yeah, it just, it just, it sounds like it's a whole lot of meh. Yeah. It's okay. For a little bit, maybe so a little fun with instead friends. of the, the, the chicken pork analogy, it's more like I wanted to put time in there, but I put parsley instead. So I got to like, try and pick out all the parsley and put time in instead it's like it tastes like it still has some parsley in it though yeah like i yeah. couldn't get it all out they mixed in a bunch of hot sauce and then they were like you know what we don't like yeah. spicy food yeah <laughs> i will i will say this the the video game fandom slash pirate fandom Hasn't really had, apart from like sea of thieves a game to service uh their their yep. needs and so it's a large fandom, and so this will probably fill that void. Um, if you if you bounced off Sea of Thieves, this might fill that void a little bit. 
it's it's the kind of thing where if you can wrap your head around the gameplay loop if you just like ships blowing up ships it will be a fine game for you yeah yeah yep it'll it'll actually do that and it, and it looks pretty and apparently from the beta we play jp they took a lot of feedback from like the shanties and the constant screaming and you can turn all that off now <laughs> um, nice. you okay. know like like they they you know it's apparently become a lot more bearable i i played it for a couple hours yeah when i was done did. i was i was done yeah i was like i, I really enjoyed running in circles on the island because of how your character looked that was yeah that was where i found my fun so yeah yeah but you know, I, I wish them the best, man. At this point, I guess hundreds and hundreds of people have worked on the game over the years. So I, I, I hope it does. It started well. in hope, 2017. It... That's when that game was announced. So which probably in, in means multiple it, studios. Yeah, it probably started in like 2015, which means that game's almost 10 years in the making. It's crazy. Yeah, a lot of people compare it to Sea of Thieves. It's not Sea of Thieves. Yeah, yeah. Not it's it, in, in terms of subject matter, <laughs> not, there are pirates, it's not, and that like, is the connection it to Sea of Thieves. It doesn't yeah. feel like Sea of Thieves. It doesn't. It, it's not the same like the fact that you don't like run around the bo the, sh the board of your ship or the, the deck of your ship and you like, are the not ship. really yeah you are the ship there's the, the there's not really the co-op is a lot different since you're not all on one ship like it, it just it doesn't if you're going into skull and bones expecting a more realistic sea of thieves you will be disappointed yeah you will be disappointed it's a different feel i just i just my i just i was about to say i just blew myself i'm gonna go with that uh, that game started out as a 5v5 MOBA, if you oh, recall. Man. Yeah. Remember, that's how that game started out. It was in the age of MOBAs, where Skull and Bones was like a 5v5 game. That's how that game was I originally forgot, pitched. I, dude, I had completely forgotten about yeah, that. Yeah, you just blew yeah. yourself, too. I just blew I you, did. Co. I just, I just, dude, I just blew myself in front of 10,000 people. I was trying to keep it together. <laughs> I really was. <laughs> So I was trying to be blow, mad about you taking so my shit. You didn't even but that blow was yourself. That was you blew yourself. I got. And you blew I got blown by skull and, Zeke, and bones. And Zeke and just sat here I blew about you. It the whole and time. Zeke just watched in the corner. Yeah. I, I'm sitting here unblown. <laughs> you did, you blow knew, me, please? Zeke. You, you knew Zeke. that it was a five v five moba. You you weren't blown by that. I didn't really care about the game. So okay, I, I was going to say Zeke wouldn't okay. care. All right, fair enough. I wasn't even standing in line to get blown. Fair enough. Chat, I need something I can blow Zeke with. Do we have any interesting things he might? Something I could just blow right here? No. So, yeah. so you're, basically, you're saying you got skull and boned? I like that. That's good. <laughs> I got skull and blowed, not boned. Ooh, that's good too. Yeah. Yeah. Blown. Blown. <laughs> so, yeah, it's what can, blown. What's something that I could blow Zeke's mind with? Somebody goes, seven days to die is still not out." I mean, that's that's <laughs> mind blowing, but it's not quite what we're looking. We could drop the Yakuza spoiler if you want to blow his mind. Damn! That, oh, I could. <laughs> I could just say the Yakuza spoiler and just completely. Yeah. Oh, well, real quick. That's like being. That, but that's like that's not a blow. That's not a blow I want. That's true. <laughs> like, we. I could. Like we. An I could interject. Blow with with teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna interject a news story that might blow Zeke's mind a little Let's bit. Let's hear it. You guys heard of this Nexon lawsuit? Okay. <laughs> Which okay. one? Question mark. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. So Nexon has been charged because I, from what I understand, I haven't read the court documents, but from what I understand, it was it was found out slash admitted that in their RNG box systems, oh yes, there, there would be times that they would tell the player they could get certain rare items, but their coding in the back would prohibit the player from having a chance at getting those items a zero so percent chance so like worse than gambling like like yeah. com and, and they were just like yeah that's maple just how our story. systems work that's where it was yeah. it was in was maple story they come they a hundred percent manipulated the rates and then lied to the players about what they could get in the boxes yeah. and and in some cases it caused players to pump in like thousands of dollars trying to go for items that they literally could not get so now they have like an 11 point some some massive crazy billion won penalty which funny enough Turns out to be like, what a ten million yeah, that's like $10 dollar million thing dollars on like a four hundred million profit. So it's just like, oh no, we'll never do that again. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> oh man, well that's we exactly we are right. terrible. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, um, <laughs> adjust the rates. Now it's zero point zero 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 one. <laughs> Look, there's a chance. <laughs> You've Look, got a chance right there. There's a chance. Oh. Yep. Yeah. But anyway, but I thought that again, was kind But of then funny. again, how would you like? it's just isn't their fucking brand name like too on the nose like 
You would put that name in like a fucking Captain Planet episode. It's like, <laughs> you want to fight against, we're on a fight against Nexon. They're trying to destroy the earth. Like, of course they are. Their name is Nexon. True. You're not wrong. You're not they wrong. focus group Nexon the Earth Slayer, but they, they just went with yeah, Nexon. Exactly. They just cut it off. Yeah. Oh, God. No, no. Oh, God. What was I? I was just playing um, um, oh, King's Quest. Uh -huh. old, King's Quest 7. And uh, the, uh, the the bad the uh, uh, antagonist of the game is named Militia, and someone said like, "Oh, how did she grow up and be be the bad guy?" <laughs> like, There's her no name way. is Militia. That sounds like you know, a like, Kingdom Hearts uh, style characterization. It really, does. it really does. Yeah. Oh God, another game that people are looking anyway. forward to, uh, Nightingale. That's uh, oh, is that, is that one point or is that early access? In February, I that say is. EA, I think I it's think early they, access. They, yeah, they it's announced on the 22nd. they were pushing back the EA. Yeah, but that game looks awesome. Yep. I, I have very high hopes for Nightingale. How would what what did they what would they say that game is in terms survival. of uh, it's a survival game? Okay, I've I've heard it's survival. But we don't really know. I mean, no one's really sat down. With yeah, that, let's so, you know, it's doing a lot of things, which is one of the reasons that I find it so interesting. Like you, it's basically a survival game where you build portals into other realms. Yeah. And then when you go into those realms, you can like choose where you go and what you do in them. And there's a whole building thing. And it's kind of this weird fantasy steampunk setting. It looks, it looks really cool. It looks really cool. Okay. Yeah. According to the splash page of their website, a shared world survival crafting game. Well, we'll see. February 22nd, early access. Take a look uh pacific drive will be launching february 22nd co you played this Dude, i've had access I to got, this i haven't checked it out yet yes i've heard good things i got an early look at pacific drive and that game is badass you it like is fun it. nice yes i loved it i i played it until i basically got to the very end uh pacific drive is great um it is it is this very cool procedural survival builder kind of game um where you basically like you get stuck in the zone from Stalker. Um, there's no combat. I haven't seen any combat yet, but you essentially like go into the zone. The way that it works is that it's always randomized every time you go in and you have to loot supplies. You have to break down supplies. There's like uh, lore things you can get. There's objectives, there's anomalies everywhere. And they and you have to scan them and figure out what they do. Uh, you're constantly, there's a, there's a huge research tree. There's a base to upgrade. Your car is an upgradable thing. So you're like replacing panels, adding upgrades, putting on different racks. Uh, increasing its functionality. You have a, a person that you upgrade as well with different equipment and things too. Like it is, it is a, the aesthetic is fun. It's a, it's a super cool game. This game's Real quick. Really like, yeah. Big. Looking at this, the, the inventory or whatever, it looks like the inventory is super small and that fucking, that okay. blows for so, a survival game. <laughs> so your inventory can be upgraded. You have a okay. significantly larger inventory in the back of your car, and then you have a giant upgradable inventory okay. at your base. And also, it okay. does all sorts of fun QL things. So, like right there, oh yeah, you you know, I hit a button, button, it stacks all my materials over. I can go over to my crafting bench. It uses all the materials that are in your storage. So it, it okay. like I have like the four holy grail QL things for survival games, and this does a lot of them. Yeah. So also, okay. you can see you can okay. customize your vehicle. It looks different. You can put different cosmetic stuff on it. Um, depending on the, the quality and how good the the pieces are you to put on it, it looks different. So it's oh, it's yeah, cool. Yeah. Now is it this game's fun? Gold. Is it always Full a station wagon you start with? Yes, yes. There okay. there is not story. against. I love I love a good Woody, but like there there are some story and lore reasons that this car is this car that you get into relatively early. But I you know we'll let you figure that out when you play. Uh, I've heard this game's quite difficult. What would you say to that? That was like the big thing coming out of all of the PAX demos is that the game was really difficult. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't say that. Okay. Would you say it was easy then? Are you the op the opposite? Uh, I mean, it with a game like this, it kind of depends on what you mean by difficulty. Like it, it's, there's not really any combat. So there's not like, you know, shooting or dodging difficulty of any kind. Um, once you kind of get the anomalies down and everything, they become very manageable. So I don't know if, yeah, I don't know if I'd call it difficult. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I yeah. had no issues progressing and it was, I had a great time doing it the whole time. I had no point felt any walls or 
for berries. I mean, there are times when you're out in the field and like there's just ish everywhere happening and you have to get around it. But you know, that's it was pretty Dude, rare when that happened. I have to I have to interject. I love how quick chat is to shit on game journalists. When I said packs, the people that said that were people like yourself, chat. So you're just shitting on yourself. Congratulations. <laughs> they were just pack scores. Like they had, it had nothing to do with game journals that were oh. playing this. It's just packs people. So. But no, for for the record, I have all of my preview on YouTube. So if anyone wants yeah. to check it out, it's it's all over my YouTube. And um I was actually kind of sad. I got like not only did I get to the end of the demo, but I kept playing just a little bit longer to like, you know, do farming and stuff like that. Because you can farm and, and oh, do really? as much as you want to okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. The, the the game is is very caters very much to my preferred play style, which is sandbox farming kind of stuff. Yeah. So you can like, you can, you can, you get this big map and you can plan a route to go to story locations, or you can just go to another location and just do farming and bring back a bunch of resources and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's a, it's, it's awesome. a, I it's a cool premise. I've, I've definitely wanted to jump in. Uh, I've been, my, my gaming, uh, has been focused on another monster, uh, <laughs> as it were. Um, uh, but yeah, it's I, a good thing you didn't almost kill him and then die. Yeah, no, I don't want to, we, we, I guess. We can rehash that later uh, in the show if you would like to. In therapy later. <laughs> is there is there no updates that are good about that? Because I I'm I'm kind of like following no. the saga a little bit. Like oh. no, I I'm... you didn't see his latest tweet. On well, this I season? guess I guess he that's did. an update. Yeah. Yeah. He basically got the dragon to like what within a thousand hit points of dying. It was very. It was like one percent. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was like one yeah. percent, and I just ran out of carts uh, and and ultimately died. I was thirty seconds away from time being up, so it, it was all the contributing factors to a failure. And I was just like, "Is there anything else you can do to make yourself more prepared to take it?" Uh, no. I can change strategies, but I can't. I've I've had the quote unquote like best uh, gear for every mm. attempt that I've done. Gotcha. There's yeah, Zeke, no, there like, you go. That's that's the car storage, for instance. Oh, you have a lot. Yeah. No. Okay. Is yeah, it there's always there's been, is it always dark? Like, I mean, you, get a, you can make a flashlight later. Okay. But it is it does like seemingly take place mostly at night. It is it is very dark. It adds to the game. story, right? You can it does. There's there's, sure. there's story reasons for most of the stuff in there, but you can get like a, a flag and stuff later. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, I like the premise, and I like those. it. It seems like it would be definitely uh, uh, my kind of like survival crafting. It has it has its own style, which I dig. Yeah. Yep. It, it's it's gotten a lot of positive praise. Um, I know Co enjoyed it. Uh, Skillup was mm -hmm. enjoying it. He put out a big video. Lyric enjoyed it. It was uh, I, I, when I was watching Lyric, it was kind of buggy. Did you run into any bugs? He he would like have things just either get duplicated or it might have just been him not like reading the UI because sometimes the UI is not super intuitive. I'm not sure uh, what was what was happening there, but yeah, he ran into a handful. I, I of things. I don't remember any major bugs. <clears throat> okay, um, that's oh, good to hear. Oh, and I should I should mention to Zeke, um, there is a setting in the game called Brighter Nights which you can turn oh, on. Oh, good, okay. Yes, Ooh. and I don't know, I don't think this is before I enabled that option. I enabled it about halfway through the playthrough, so um, okay. that definitely helped, especially for the stream. The stream said for them, it became like, oh, there's stuff to look at. <laughs> it, That's cool. Well, I don't, see, I don't mind when a game is dark on purpose and it's supposed to be, you know, like a la Alan Wake or whatever, like, like that, but like when you're gathering shit and you're just like, I can't fucking see i just tore apart a pc and i want all the pieces like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. uh, they're all over the ground and it's dark this is oh, from later uh, in the game so it looks looks a little bit brighter yeah yeah completely unrelated side question are we doing a df thing for the 18th microsoft showcase at 3 p.m uh if you want to yeah yeah i i am 100 i will be watching apparently that. there's going to be a ton of about info so yeah i will be that's I this thursday there. zeke i will be watching okay. that yeah um, so if you want to, we can all jump in a call and, uh, and watch it together. Uh, we, we can talk about that, uh, and what's going to be there a little bit later, if you would prefer, cause it should be a cool, cool show. Um, anyways, uh, Pacific drive. This is kind of creator <clears throat> preview. The full game launches on February 22nd. It's supposed to be good. Um, there was something, oh, last epoch. Uh, yeah, that comes out February twenty first oh, and one point. You just reminded me. 
I, out. Apparently, they just released a really cool video going over like guilds and the trade systems, and I was supposed to watch that. I haven't yet. Apparently, oh, it's awesome. I've not seen that either. I, what do you know any of the things in it, or just that you're supposed to watch? No. It? Okay. No. I, just a bunch of people in chat were like, "You need to watch it because it's super cool." And uh, I was like, "Dang, I don't know how long it is. Maybe we can watch it now. I don't know." They said it's only five minutes. The trade looks insane. Watch it. Uh, I can't. It would take me a second to set up the audio, but I could uh, oh, don't worry set it. it up. Don't worry about it then. Or we just watch it later. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll watch it tonight. I'll report cool. next week. Okay. Mm -hmm. That works. Uh, what else? Sons of the Forest also. Wow. Big uh, February 22nd. Big uh, big launch day. Sons of the Forest will be hitting 1.0. I enjoyed the uh, the early access to that that I played. So mm -hmm. curious to see how I much they about, add to it. I played about 14 hours um of of the uh early access right when it came out and then i was like i'm putting this away until it's absolutely like it's totally fully on fully released because i i'm just hoping that they add a bunch of story elements because yeah. the first story or the first forest uh when they finally came out with the entire like the entirety of the lore and all that kind of stuff it ended up being really great and fun to uh like the story ended up being something i enjoyed so i'm really excited to check out the forest uh when it comes or sons of the forest when it comes out and see like how the story unfolds hopefully yep. it's i uh yeah, hopefully I it's played, complete just like when it came out i played just like he said when it came out i played sons of the forest except i played it all the way through the ending mm -hmm. and um i could not agree with what zeke said more because it's so like when you get to the when i got to the end of it's the forest early access it was a mess i remember that I remember talking oh, God, about that. It was, it was a mess. Like, it, it, like just so much stuff that, like, needed more explanation and why does this work and what <laughs> is going on here and, wait, is this, like, are we religious now? Like, it was just, <laughs> it was so weird. So I, I probably will return, to be honest, and play it again uh, when it goes into 1.0, and hopefully that has been improved. Yep. Um, it was, whoo, it was a thing. Yeah. Cool, cool. I think Let's I see. got to the end, too. Cause, I mean, it wasn't that it wasn't that, that long, long. no yeah. yeah and you can kind of rush it well it, you could rush it yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 you just it that's the type of thing i remember that game launched and a lot of people weren't even building bases because you don't have to and they were just going from like point to point yeah to point to point. and the worst part is there's no like fast travel system so yeah. it made it so like building a base was literally just a waste of time like there was nothing there was nothing really you got so much food and resources by exploring around you didn't need to build like a food dryer or anything like that. You just didn't have to. Yeah. So you didn't need to grow food because you got so much everywhere. The other th yeah, at the beginning of the game, it's like, oh my god, a can of soda. By you know, ten hours in, you're just like, fuck, another can of soda. God. Yeah, you're throwing them away. You're literally throwing yeah. food away for most of the playthrough because you like find a kitchen and it's just stocked full of food for like the next four hours yeah. of gameplay. Then you find two more before you run out. It was a uh, yeah thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I will Hopefully also say, a bit more. as someone who's straight up, like, built a base and, and played a little bit of co-op that way, got kind of fucking annoying seeing, like, these giant undressed guys just walk towards the base and kind of just do this and slowly smash it to shit. And then you'd repair all the base and then <laughs> just not stop. And then Lisa shows up, the three-legged horror would just be hanging out. <laughs> I'm Lisa. I'm what did you start. just call Lisa? <laughs> oh, horror. Horror. Okay. Hor uh, horror. I didn't say horror. We were about to throw down. Don't you be talking about Lisa like that. I didn't say horror. I said horror. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's February 22nd. Uh, I'm sure we will all be playing it. Uh, uh, the final uh, big releases, February 28th and then 29th. Uh, we got Brothers Tale Two Sons Remake, which is weird. That game's getting remade, but it's a great game if you never played it. Uh, definitely, definitely worth. Oh, you never played that. Nope. I would say very emotional game, and I will leave it at yeah. that. You should play that game. Uh, Star Wars. Dark... Oh, brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah, brothers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster are on the twenty eighth, and then the big release in February, uh, and potentially so far for the year, Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth comes out on the 29th That'll be a big one. Um, I think everyone. I, there's not really much to add to that. Uh, there, there may or may not be a sh another Drop Frames episode solely about that show sometime in the future. We'll see. Um, moving along. What is March. it? I, I want to play wait, my wait, vacation. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait which, which one is this we're talking about? The Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Ah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there's been conversations on that. Uh, mm -hmm. March. 
This is where things start to thin out. We got the Outlast Trials. I thought that was out, but I guess that's 1.0. Oh, you meant Virginia. You're talking about the three-legged mutant in the white swim swimsuit in Sons of the Forest? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, sorry. what are you talking I'm sorry. About? I call her Lily for some reason. I don't know why I started Lily. calling her Lily. So why? Okay. Well, you mean Lisa? Because you said Lisa. Or, no, no. I said, Lisa. I said Lisa. I said Lisa. I said Lisa. I said Lisa. <laughs> okay. Ah! So I didn't think that. I didn't know you had pet names for her. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. There, okay. For some reason, that was the name of her in our playthrough. But she actually has a name, and her name is Virginia. Is that what you I believe saying? it's Virginia. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Random side. No, no, no. I got you. I got you. Uh, Co, you played some of the Outlast Trials, right? Was that yeah, not 1.0? Was that early access? No. Oh, early access. Okay. So 1.0 yeah, is according March According to the Steam page, it's, it's still early access, yeah. 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 They, they, uh, they, keep, they keep adding maps. They keep updating it um it's yeah it's it's a lot of fun honestly i had a good time in that game i'm going to return to it at 1.0 most yeah. likely uh, a lot mm -hmm. of our, our mutual friends friends enjoyed it uh march 5th for 1.0 on that uh what else is in march homeworld 3 is going to come out i think Co, I you're probably that. yeah you're probably the the hype for that mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. among the uh the show very excited for homeworld 3 do we know what is in that? Like we've seen trailers for it. But there's been no gameplay uh, that you've had your hands on or anything, right? They they've taught no, no, I haven't played it yet, but they've they've definitely shown like some of there's been a few more kind of deeper dives into talking with the devs and and what they're doing and everything and it it, it looks solid. I mean, basically they've they've said and they've been pretty public about the fact that a lot of the stuff they wanted to do in the original games, the technology just wasn't really there for. Mm. So now we're coming back and, you know, now you can like fly your, you know, before where it was just basically a big empty 3D space and you would fight in. Now with the, the new tech, you can like fly through asteroids and like fly nice. around ships and like do all this cool stuff that they wanted to be able to do in the originals, but you couldn't. And of course you have the benefit of all the new graphics and all the new tech, you know, general tech behind it and everything. So it's looking really, really cool. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to dive back in. I actually may, um, funny enough, I downloaded Deserts of Kashyyyk. Uh, uh, Homeworld 2 or something? No, oh, Deserts of Karak. So what they did was Homeworld 1 came out. Then I think four years later, Homeworld 2 came out. And then they made a prequel to Homeworld that takes place on the planet that the main ship from Homeworld 1 takes off from. But oh. it's an RTS that takes place on the planet's surface. Huh. So, uh, and it's the latest Homeworld game. So I've never played it. So I think I'm actually going to do like a run through of that. And then maybe either play Homeworld 1 and 2 on like super easy difficulty just to rip through it. Or maybe watch some lore catch-up videos or stuff before 3 and, cool. uh, and go from there. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. Jumping back two days, uh, three days, March 5th. Oh, yeah, Kashyyyk is, I'm sorry, that's Chewie's Homeworld. That's isn't Chewie's it? Homeworld, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why when he said I, that, I, my I ears that perked from, up. And I, I like, did that from somewhere, yeah. I, I, it sounded, <laughs> sounded right, but... Yeah. Uh, March 5th, Zeke, you, me, a couple other friends. We got a new Mud Runner game, Zeke. We're jumping in. We're going We're going running, not in the snow this time, but in the mud. You in? Expeditions, Mud Runner game. Look, comes look at that out. face. Look at that face right now. That's the... <laughs> Wait, the... Hold on. Are, are you still on Game Informer? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm on my own. This is oh. my own. This is my own. I'd track this game my own. Oh. Let me let is me take a look at it. Format? Is it on Steam? Yeah, I think it is. It's it, and it's called what now? Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. Uh, they just actually had a new trailer for it um, this past week. I think that was this past week. Um, or no, maybe this was previews. Yeah, there was previews, uh, and they all said, "Hey, it's more snow running. If you want to play more snow running, more running style games, here you go." Uh, but this one's more exploration focused. They actually said, uh, where you you're, you you go and find like the legendary stone. Uh, I'm trying to watch the trailer, man. It is. You want to get you want to get stuck in gotta, some mud gotta, with us? I gotta, Steve? I gotta turn it off. I gotta turn off the you trailer. Want, you want to oh, get stuck god. in some mud? Oh my god! <laughs> it's like a feature. It's like it's like the game. They, they 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 like they showcase you getting stuck. Yeah. In the mud. They, Zeke, they've like got a, a look at that. Look at that. You got a heavy advanced winch. You can fucking oh, skyrim up the side of that mountain, Zeke. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh, it's, you move so slowly. You're so wait, slow wait, 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 going wait, wait, wait. everywhere. 
TC Slam says it's single player, not co-op. Oh, I thought this did have co-op in it. Is it only single player? I thought the preview said that it was going to be. Is it solo only? That seems weird because if it this is game solo is like wildly only, popular in co-op. Yeah, if it is solo only, that would be unfortunate. Zeke, it does have placeable winch points. If that's something. And you can also decide, you can change oh, your tire pressure. it says single player pressure. in Steam tags. Well, that's not that's not true. Single player in Steam tags, I don't think it means single player only. I think it means you can play. No, 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 It's it's not in the tags. It's in the... The, the official like Steam page, like yeah, it says. Man, if this is Steam single player, player, that's gonna bum me out. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That... I mean, it is in the tag. Excuse me, but it's also in like the things they put on the page. Man, chat, don't ever say you've never seen a dream die because mine just did. It just happened <laughs> live on air. I can't jump back into a running game with my friend Zeke. I gotta go it alone. You know, I gotta go it alone. It's a Mudrovania. No, it says right here. It, it's it's called Mud Runner, right? Uh, oh no, that's something different. That's something different. Yeah. What's well, what's this one called exactly? Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. Oh, uh, someone in my chat just said, "Looks like co-op is planned as a free update." Uh, uh, might have to wait. Oh, well, that's weird. This is this is a universe. The Mud Runner really? universe? Oh yeah, this is the third game. Manage your camp by building research structures and hiring experts to unlock new skills and possibilities. Oh, we're getting Co in now. Co's going running. Wait, in what? The mud. <laughs> Build and manage your base and equip your vehicle with essential gadgets like drones or scanners to ensure your success. Hire a team of top-notch experts to improve your skills in the field. Oh yeah. Oh okay. What happened? I think my body shut down to protect me. <laughs> was that a, a multi-minute coma to protect you <laughs> oh man uh that's march the 5th we'll see what happens i'm sure it'll come up on I'm the surprised show it's not on this list yeah i don't know why it's not on the game informer list that's strange <laughs> zeke, oh God, zeke must i have wonder removed why it. it's not on the list zeke must have removed it yeah yeah uh, that's weird edited by Zach, what's this guy's name? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> what else is in March? Uh, what is Outcast a new beginning? We saw previews for this. This is that, okay, Outcast is an old, old, old game that they're kind of remaking. And this is oh. that one we saw where it's like, it's like, it's like a, it's like a alien world, but you have to mindfully help. I don't want to say terraform, but like, Propagate technology in a mindful way for the environment. God, I, it looks, I remember it looks, this game. Yeah, this is the game that weird. has like the weird protagonist. Yeah, but it's. I'm pretty sure it's based on an old school game. So I, oh. think, I think there was old a, 90s an games. Old, what chat said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So and then, but this is like a, a not only a new take on it, but there's all sorts of mechanics and systems where you kind of have a lot of choice and control over how the world adapts to your technology and how you deal with that and everything. I mean, it looks watching kind of cool. Him yeah. Watching him fly around. Perfect. What's that old Disney movie? It was like Rocket Man or Rocketeer? Jet, Jet Man or Rocketeer. Rocketeer, the Rocketeer. There it is. It looks like just like the Rocketeer, dude. That's a callback. He needs that freaking <laughs> helmet with a little fin on it. Hell yeah, he that does. Yeah. yeah. Badass. That's, isn't that movie credited as being like the first superhero movie? Is that is that true? That's like what Never spawned that. all of that shit? I believe it, but I've never heard it. I think a lot of people credit that as like being the first one, even though it wasn't really a superhero esque movie, but that's what started it. Anyways, I mean, sorry, they, no, random they had, tangent. They had, they had like <laughs> Batman movies in black and white, didn't they? Or not Batman, or uh, not in black and white. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess Bat TV Batman. What stuff. came out first, Rocket Man or Batman? Rocketeer. In, or Rocketeer. No, no, no Rocket Adam, West, Adam West, Adam West, Batman had a movie. No, 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 but that's a, that's a TV show. That was 91. When did the no, original movie? When did Batman was that in the 80s? Batman Returns was 92. The Mark of Zorro was 1920, okay? And it when he and Zorro was awesome. <laughs> God, but, a movie in the 20s doesn't inspire a movie in the superhero genre hey, in the fucking Has the respect for the 20s. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right. That's what we're John doing. John Q, son of Zorro, was we're, 1925. We're sticking, we're sticking up for the 20s. We're sticking up for That's the right. <laughs> well, Batman the movie 
1966 with Adam West and Burt Ward from the TV show. Go. They made a movie Boom. from the TV show. Yeah, oh, that's okay. what I was thinking of. That yeah, was, that, that it was. Yep. Okay, all right. Well, now that I've been uh, viscerated on my no, no, thought. I think you're right about something. It be it being the first in something though. Yeah, yeah. It might have been like an opinion article, which is first really superhero about. featuring a rocket backpack movie. I think that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> that might be it. That might be it. Could sure. be it. Could sure. be it. Uh, any hype for Alone in the Dark? The yes, twenty twenty four. No, no, yes, hugely. Yes, None. yes, yes. <laughs> I will do this all day. No, Alone in the Dark. Okay, so in in one of the funniest uh, storage related issues of all time, the the preview that you could download for this game, which oh, literally was like right. five minutes, was sixteen gigabytes. They literally had you download the game to play like a five minute preview. But that being said, the game itself looks awesome. There's some star-studded casts in here. Uh, the preview was great. I was actually super bummed when it ended. Uh, Alone in the Dark is a pretty iconic franchise. Yeah. It's had some questionable games over the years, but this one is looking pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I am very, very jazzed for this one. That's old Mr. Harbor right there. <laughs> yep, there is. Uh, for those of you who are wondering why I like overreacted to this, it's because I played the CD-ROMs of Alone in the Dark 1 and, and Alone in the Dark 2. And right now, I think Alone in the Dark 3 is winning for the next game that I'm playing in CD-ROM. CD-ROM <laughs> but uh, cool. those were they were rough to go back to, man. <laughs> They're really rough. Rough and they, they were like, like, controls, too. Uh, tank controls. Just, yeah, the controls of the game, like oh. the, the look, the, the, the graphics of the game make it like make it unnecessarily difficult as well because of the limitations they had because you weren't sure like what you could interact with and what you couldn't like it's like like an old point and click like if they don't make it stand out from the background you're just like that looks like scenery to me like it, it, was, a, it was a lot of that stuff uh, that kind of thing what this guy's you could, just you could tell in items... the street well it's just a homeless guy like why are we afraid of this what, <laughs> what's going just on just bath here? salts it's yeah, fine those are... um <laughs> but no, what was funny about the old Alone in the Dark games is the only way you could tell if an item was usable is that it would stick out so badly from the pre-rendered background. There'd be like a like a very pretty background, <laughs> and there'd be like this weird mass of orange and yellow pixels, and it's like, oh, that's a rubber duck. You just pick it up and it doesn't even look like what it's supposed to. It's like you found a rubber duck. It was uh yeah, it was definitely a thing. Nice. Definitely a thing. Cool. This is the, I I haven't seen any of this gameplay, so I'm kind of just enjoying what what's happening there here? are some rumors it's already been delayed oh, and yeah. there are rumors it's going to be delayed again yeah so, so maybe don't know not what's going march on with 20th. the project but yeah i'm hoping march 20th i really want to play this game but it, it got a pretty significant delay not like space marine too significant but it got a pretty significant delay okay. and uh they they clearly i think they were wanting to get it out on the halloween pick up oh. on the halloween night but it wasn't there got it yeah. Well, we will see then if that comes out March 20th. Uh, Hopefully will. Two days after that, Dragon's Dogma 2 is coming out. I'm excited. Very excited for that. Uh, did you yes. finish your playthrough of Dragon's Dogma 1? I Come? did. I Where finished did you... my playthrough. What, what was that mean? I beat the DLC, and then I beat the DLC again for the true ending. The true ending. Yep. Okay. Did you farm any of the DLC for items? I did. I did a little bit of farming. You kind of have to um, if you go I, for that final boss because he's a motherfucker. Yeah, we we've <laughs> we have talked many times on the stream about Dragon's Dogma, and and there there are great things about it, and there are horrible things about it. Um, and the funny part is the 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 part that makes me so excited about DD two is I would say that the majority of the things that are bad about DD one are technical limitations. Yeah. or design limitations that the industry has kind of outgrown from now and and we hopefully will not see in two so there like i am i am in dd2 is one of my most anticipated games right now there's so much good stuff in dd1 um especially the dlc like i gotta say it was dlc is wildly interest the dlc is not only great but like those devs to, to have it be that difficult on normal difficulty and require the amount of time and farming that it takes to do that. Like I got destroyed in the oh, DLC yeah. to a point where I was like going up against enemies. I would hit them for a solid minute and, they, and their health bar wouldn't move a pixel. And that's when chat uh, informed me of the, of the real way that the weapon system works in the game and what I had to do. So I went, I, I new game plus my game went back 
into so I could dragon forge my equipment and stuff. Yeah. And um yeah, it was it was a ride, dude. It was a ride, but it was very difficult and at some points very frustrating again cuz the way the game is done. Um Oh, the mobs I, just I, one shot you. Like <laughs> the mobs just one shot you and then there's there's all sorts of stuff. The pawn AI is all over the place. Yeah. Even if you spec them properly, the pawn AI is all over the place. Uh climbing on enemies, it is the worst climbing system I've ever seen in a game. <laughs> It was definitely and the reason you could see though where it went from that you could to see Monster what they Hunter want. because yes. like oh, Monster, yeah. and Monster Hunter is a lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the issue the issue with with climbing in Dragon's Dogma is that it's a multi-planar system, and what I mean by that is when you jump onto an enemy, a plane is established of your movement, an X Y plane. But the problem is that that plane changes based on where your camera is. There's a <laughs> second plane. So you'll be it's holding terrible. up to go up the enemy and then, you, and then the enemy will move. So you have to rotate your camera and the same direction you've been holding now goes down. So then you're sitting there going, wait, do I go down to go up? No, it's left and slightly up to go back up. And, and, you, and it's this it's, weird, it's like every time you move, you have to like relearn the controls. It's terrible. Yeah. Um, if they would just would have kept it so like the perspective is locked to where you are on the creature, it would have been fine. But for some reason, they threw in some weird camera thing to it, and the whole thing fell apart. It's terrible. Yeah. Um, but from what I've seen in two, when they climb around on enemies, it looks a lot smoother. It looks clearer uh, in terms of being able to see what's going on and everything. So my hope is that's a lot better. Inventory looks better in two. They combined everything into one inventory. Thank God that was such a dumb system. Yeah. Like, um, and the pawn AI even looks a little bit better. They are doing some weird things with the classes in two. Yeah, did you I'm see? Not uh, really sure. I, I'm that. On board uh, with. I forgot what the name of the class was, but there's a class Trickster. that actually, yeah, Trickster. I watched that full video. IGN's had a bunch of uh, yeah. like developer guided, uh, or or maybe they went and played and had developers guide them. Then watch that same video. Yeah, and it, it, it it's like a no combat class, and you basically it's, it's make illusions. Support. Uh, and you can make like a fake wall and have the enemies have your illusion stand on the other side of the fake wall. And so the enemies then just jump off cliffs. Oh no, that's the fake ground. That's oh, that's the, the fake where, ground. Yeah. 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 You can, you can make a fake ground over a cliff. They can walk on. You can put your aggro thing, thing on it yeah. so that attract the enemy, your aggro shade or whatever they call it. The enemies run onto your fake ground or jump for it. And they just they just die you know you yeah they just die i don't know what Which that means, means for loot. probably don't get the loot yeah so f that class is what i'd like to say um I don't know but no it, it looks it looks like a class that kind of makes you think outside the box instead of giving you weapons it gives you tools and you have to deal with that the only thing that scares me to death with that class is it makes you very reliant on the pot ai so if they have yeah. not made great improvements i am not interested at all but the thing about trickster that kind of throws everything for a loop is one of the cool things about the original Dragon's Dogma is the vocation system and the fact that there was like three base classes and then there were three advanced classes directly based on them. And then there were combo classes that had clear combinations between the classes. Yeah. But now in this one, they've changed one of the base classes to be green. They randomly have combinations and then the trickster is like purple and pink. It's on its own. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just like, you had this really cool thing going and now you're just kind of like, saying screw it like yeah. it's it's weird so now it's brought up these these discussions where it's like are there more classes we haven't heard of because there's a whole bunch of combinations that now either don't exist or aren't there but then somebody brought up the good point that there's an officially licensed shirt for dragon's dogma 2 that only has the nine announced classes on it so it's like <laughs> that's what they're going that's to. probably yeah. what's going to be in the game and that's the whole thing just becomes a little strange yeah so it's going to be interesting to see how they do that. I hope there's some good thinking behind it. And it's not just like, nah, we just decided to do something weird and different that, you know, isn't nearly as cool as the first system. Yeah. But I will say that the new classes do look awesome. Like I am oh, 99% sure. They're cool. I am 99% sure I'm going that Mystic Spear Knight thing. Yeah. That thing looks amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's super fast. It's got magic. It can warp to enemies. I mean, one of the biggest problems with Melee and DD1 is the fact that there's some enemies that just fly around. That if you don't have a bow, you're you're screwed. Can you use that class to warp to them in the like sky? Noctis like this style gameplay. Oh play god! Or something? If you can do that, I am done. I am sold. Can you warp to an enemy's head and then just grab onto it and bypass the whole climb up thing? Like, dude. Oh, 
Yeah. Woo. I'm. Mm. We will see. It's going to be hard for I'm me excited. not to play a magic class just because of how cool the spells look. In, oh, in they DD1. look so good. And in DD2, they so they're going to be able to, you know, yep. do so much more with them. So I'm excited for it. It should be a fun uh, a fun game uh, regardless. Uh, and that uh, that's in March. That's on the 22nd. I feel Z like Co is speaking at one and a half speed. I tend to get that way when I'm excited about hey, something. That's, that's yeah. how you tell he's excited. Yeah, Zeke, where are you at on the Dragon's Dogma train? Are you? Well, th that's a thing. Like I was chatting with my chat because uh, I was like, what what game am I like mixing up or combining things with this one? They're like Dragon Age. And I'm like, oh yes. Oh. And yeah. I had to like talk to my chat to figure out which one was which. Like which one had <laughs> uh, the pawns? This one. Okay. Which one had the option to sex? age dragon age, dragon had the, age that yeah. that's the rpg i was like okay which one was morrigan in age okay age. which one like and that kind of stuff so i'm like i'm still like not like my my memories of the game because i know i played both of them at length i'm pretty sure uh but i just Are can't remember Zelda? like i think so i'm pretty sure because i play i remember the pawn system and i remember using pawns of people that i knew you know the the screen names there, that I did. There's a three year difference. Oh, that's true. Yep. Yeah. Between the two. That's exactly how it works. Yeah. 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 You should Pond play it again though. But if, you, if you're interested in playing it, now's the best time. Like it's yeah. a great time to play it again. Yeah. Yeah. It's also like five bucks. Yeah, it's heavily. Let me, let me check again. It's super. Like if it, you are even slightly interested in Dragon's Dogma One. If the, oh wow. Go ahead. Never mind. Is it back full it, price? I, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen is now thirty bucks again. Oh, it's still worth it for that price. Is that the it, first it game? Is. That's the that's Dragon's the first Dogma game with DLC. Dark Arisen is the first game plus the DLC, which yeah. is if you're going to play okay. the base game, you definitely want to check out the DLC. I mean, it says in my Steam Steam stats that I, I played like 20 hours of it, 20 and a half. That's probably enough for like the main quest of the base game, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Because it gets kind of grindy. 2016. Oh. God damn. Yeah. It's kind of grindy. What do you own about? Oh, nothing, nothing. Okay. Channel thing. Uh, what else? Oh, Zeke, talk to me about the hot, the anticipated Princess Peach Showtime coming out March twenty second. <laughs> I know uh, you're. I'm glad about you it. asked. <laughs> I'm glad you asked me. No, I saw that on the list. I'm like, goddamn, about time, right? Yeah. About time. Yeah. Peach got her own fucking title, right? Yeah. Unless I missed one. Did she have her own title before? I don't think so. I think this yeah. is the first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, goddamn time. Like they gave one, they gave several to the goddamn monkey before they gave it to the princess. Are you kidding? Yeah. Oh, she had one on DS. <laughs> chat, my chat is correcting me. Okay. Okay. The Nintendo uh, Mafia is very upset. Uh, <laughs> it's, there's one on the DS. Super yeah, Princess sorry. Peach. It was a small one, uh, apparently. Yeah. Uh, no, truth be told, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh people are excited about it as they are uh, prone to be with the nintendo titles uh march 22nd is also there's three big games we got dragon's dogma 2 princess peach showtime and then rise of the ronin also launches on the 22nd which kind of bums me out because i'm pretty interested in that game but it's going to get completely overshadowed by dragon's dogma 2 uh and i'll probably have to choose between those so i hope Dra i hope rise of the ronin just doesn't get buried underneath that because it, it had some pretty cool stuff which one that's which like the open Rise world the samurai game for uh oh. the playstation that we saw this is a the bunch team of... ninja one yeah we saw some really cool stuff for this uh oh interesting and it comes out the same day it's unfortunate damn uh Dude. it also looks really good graphically so it's a bummer that i think that looks bummer. fun we gotta, we gotta convince one of them to give us early access. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm Capcom not, I'm not choosing. Well, I, I don't know. Yeah, Cap, no. I might be off the Capcom list after my uh, my recent uh, Monster Hunter stream. Oh yeah, dude. No, I was, I was actually chatting with John Capcom yesterday. He's not pleased. He's not. not I've, all. I've said some things about how that game makes me feel. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I did do this. I did, I did tune into some other Monster Hunter streams, and they were both the words. I'm so fucking tired of this game as they got knocked back by a mob yeah. also were set. So I think I'm I think I'm just embracing how all Monster Hunters feel uh, towards the, the end of the, the game. I think the quote he gave me is when you said that it stinks like a Yep. And then when you backtracked and said actually it's as bad as 
Yeah. You know, that all that all sounds correct. I, that that all came out of my mouth. It's all very true. I don't know if the audience knew that, but he beeps it for you, but not for us. And yeah. what he just said was I can't say that. I but am blushing, I, like, I, and I don't do that. I tried to delete the clips, but I guess they got out. I guess no. they got <laughs> out. Yeah. It's unfortunate. I didn't know you had those words in your brain, though. Oh, Jesus. Hey, I'm not the one that said it, dude. Don't look at me. I mean, you just did. Listen, I don't pray I a didn't. lot, but I'm praying for you tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. God. One of us. Uh, so, yeah, March 22nd. It's going to be a, a highly contested day uh, for your video game attention. And then March 26th, we got South Park Snow Day. That's the BR South Park, right? That's what... That's what Who that knows is? what to expect with that one, man. I, I don't even know what that game is. I've loved South Park games in the past, but I have no idea what to expect. I think that's one. the South Park, like, snow game, yeah. Yeah, kind of uh, strange. Know, um, I'm seeing if there's anything on the on JPedia that we missed in terms of early access. This isn't the, the, this isn't the, the third game in the, the, the series. Wait, of wait, the, wait, wait. I don't South think Park so, games, no. Right? I don't think it is. Okay, okay. What's up? Is it is it a BR or is it a because at one point it shows them picking cards and stuff? It's four player co-op. Oh. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> I thought it was a BR. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there's experience uh... cooperative gameplay for the first time ever in a South Park game with up to three friends or al uh, or ally bots unleashing powerful coordinated attacks on your foes. Yeah. It's it's I think it's like some kind of weird action game. Yeah. Oh, huh. okay. <clears throat> I'm sure they'll put out more previews for it. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. April getting thinner in terms of the Oh, release. oh, oh, uh, real quick, just uh someone someone mentioned in your chat co. Um thank you for finally like I am now blown. Thank you for blowing Great. me your, with that with your language. I was waiting oh. for it and yep. It, you you okay. got there. Thank you. Okay. It was right. my pleasure, was my pleasure. <laughs> to blow you. <laughs> He got his dick blown off right there. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What's this about dick? What are you talking about? What yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, have you thought this whole time? Bro, I thought you could see how I could see how we'd be confused. Yeah. Yeah. JP, could you please try to get dicks off your brain? I gotta like, go. <laughs> I gotta go, guys. I gotta go. <laughs> April. April. Anyway, April. April. I'm just going to read these I titles. I might not be able to carry the show, JP, but I can carry you. Thank you. Europa. Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes. Tales of Kenzara Zao. Those are two different games, by the way. Uh, saga. Wait, are they? Saga, yeah. Saga okay, Emerald okay, Beyond. Okay. Sandland, which actually has a little bit of buzz, which maybe we could dive into. And then Braid is getting an anniversary edition. Yeah, I guess Sandland oh. has some hype around it. That's the one we saw where they like really drummed up the beginning of it and then they dropped it. We were like, what the hell is this? Yeah. Let's, they were like, uh, for the producer of that guy that you love and this other guy that's fantastic, it's. And we were like, oh, oh. April. And we're like, is Sandland. Like, and we're like, uh. April is anime month. Yeah, this is Sandland. Yeah. It's a certain, it, I guess, it's survival anime game. I don't really know. That's not, I'd say straight action, man. You think this that is action? That look very survival. Yeah. Might be. There's mechs and stuff. They're throwing rocks. I'm actually kind of on board with this. This looks kind of cool. Uh, according to the website, a uh, new action RPG. There you oh, go. okay. Yep. Uh, yeah. Based on the masterpiece by uh, Akira Toriyama, creator of Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah. That, that's right. Yeah. This was an old uh, an old Magna, or however you say it. Magna. Magna? Manga. This looks Manga. anime, but it also, it, it's like anime plus. What does that mean? Does that mean anime that's good for you? <laughs> yeah, it means it means it means like it's based on anime, but it's more than like standard anime. Like all the 3D okay. look right. and like all that kind of stuff. Gameplay is like turn for the rest race. of us. <laughs> yeah. It's anime plus. That's right. Anime We're plus. 26. I like that. Is anime plus. Is anime it as a non weeb Can I say it's anime plus? <laughs> Good and one. that that's no. how I like enjoy it because it's anime plus, you know, as a non weeb. That's it's weeb for everyone. Right? Right, non, guys? Non weeb. What? Right? Yeah, as a non weeb, yeah. You're mm -hmm. literally our token weeb. 
I don't know if that's I wouldn't I don't you I have to ex- you have to <laughs> you gotta you gotta accept these uh, these things you gotta and I don't I refute that statement I refute that statement I think like weeb weebness has like uh, JP a bleeds Iya that's right <laughs> JP what bleeds Iya JP bleeds Iya you cut JP it's just like Iya 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 that's right that's exactly right that I mean you guys have never seen me bleed you don't know that that might be true you never know we've never <laughs> heard you bleed apparently that's true yeah he's gonna, he ain't got time to bleed <laughs> you know what he oh, does have time God. for Iya 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 yeah that's right that's right yeah. uh, okay. that's April. Apparently, no video games are slated for May. Zero video games are That's releasing it. in May. Nope. They die they for the month of May. They all got together and agreed. Yep, we're done. May's done. No, uh, real talk, though. That's my These birth, lists are my always month. made generally the last month of the previous year. Yeah. So game companies generally only announce firm dates like a few months in advance. So if you scroll down, for those that are following along at home, if you scroll down this list, you'll see a giant list of extra games. Those yeah, are games we'll that those. are probably falling in those months, but are not, don't have dates yet. Yep. So. yep, 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 yep. Yeah, we'll, and we'll go over that whole list too. Yeah. yeah. June, the Jeebus. Uh, summer's got some stuff, uh, at least on the uh, the official slated list. Destiny 2, The Final Shape is coming out. Uh, <laughs> and then- <laughs> oh, boy, it's gonna be interesting. It will, I, I, I still have hope. I still have a little bit of hope that that's gonna be enjoyable. I think Ooh. the current, I think, I think, uh, <laughs> The Destiny clock, as it were, right now, if you look at it, I think it's green. I think people are are enjoying Destiny right now uh, in the current season. Um, yeah, I think I think yeah. the current season... Uh, for, I thought I thought the For Destiny, story purposes, they are enjoying it. The season I is fun. The Destiny enough. hype was pretty uh, reduced after the whole layoff debacle thing. I hadn't really seen much positive stuff since then. I would, I would say people that are playing the game right now in the current season are enjoying it. I think everything else around Destiny, that's in the shitter. That's burning. <laughs> that's, that's, so we're separating it's on those fire out. yeah i okay. i separate yeah. those yeah that's separating fair. the art from that's the artist the art is good the <laughs> artist sucks ass yeah uh june will be a pretty uh pretty busy month uh path of exile 2 closed beta test will be happening then I'm sure that's going to be all over twitch of course summer game fest uh is slated for june 8th through the 13th um and then i think that also could be the month where uh, dawn trail comes out for final fantasy 14 although they're still sticking Ooh. to summer they have not released an actual date for that just yet um and then we go into august right now black oh, oh what's little, little addition by the way the sure. manor lords ea is also at the end of april manor lords manor lords manor lords we've seen a lot of stuff from manor okay. lords. we've we probably during during the summer games and everything, I think we saw the trailer a few times. Yeah, it's a cool looking game. Okay, if you remember, it's the medieval builder war battle game where like you build your little medieval town and then oh you, like, okay get yes armies yes, and, yes, yes, yeah. yes 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 so, yeah. yep, yep yep uh August uh we have one title slated that's Black Myth Wukong looking pretty cool there graphically uh we'll see how that game shapes up gameplay wise yeah go ahead you gotta go okay, okay. <laughs> that's fine. It's not like we're going to talk about Warhammer Space Marine 2 or anything, Co. Okay. All right. He, <laughs> just give him a second. He, he just says, has to... <laughs> he says to wait. So I guess. What do we do? Z? We can just go on. We can start with the TBAs. Okay. Because there's. God. You want? There's, there's like a hundred games on this list. There, yes. There is a lot. 33 <laughs> Immortals. Let's start there. That game. Do you know what that okay. game is? That's that Xbox game. It's co-op and it has 33 people in it. And then you just, uh, people keep going until uh, you're immortal and you win the game. It's supposed to be pretty cool. I don't know when that uh, is slated to come out. We might hear more about that at the Xbox thing um, on Thursday, perhaps. I don't think it's slated to be there, but uh, we will see. We'll see what happens. Wow. Your your face looks like you're not remembering this. No, I don't remember this. Like, I'm watching the trailer here. Is it like... Is it like Fall Guys? Like that kind of, like one remains after like- It's you... it's Fall Guys, but everyone's on the same team. Oh, okay. There's there's 33 people that are put into a game. Um, and then those 33 okay. people are like fighting different creatures and you're, you're trying to live on. You know? 33 Immortals is a co-op action roguelike for 33 players, play a damned soul and rebel against God's final judgment, pick up and raid cooperative 
or cooperate to survive hordes of monsters, defeat massive bosses, and face the wrath of God in the ultimate fight for your eternal life. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. It seems pretty cool. Kind of, kind of Hades esque yeah. too in terms of the combat. Um, I want to see more of it. I, w- I want to hear more about it because the last. I think this was announced last Summer Game Fest, last, quote, E3. Um, and then we haven't heard anything else about it. So it's been a couple play tests, I want to say, but I haven't. Uh... I really don't think we've ever watched or discussed anything about this. Because oh, it was, it was I, in, it was in I Summer feel Game like Fest. I would remember this. It was in Summer Game Fest. Uh, we were all there. I, there's probably f- footage of you watching this game being Prob- announced. Probably. You're right. Probably. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. You're right probably exists maybe i just saw like the snippets of the trailer that didn't like like uh uh catch my attention like the cartoony like little like side scenes and stuff like that because it reminds me of like like old the uh, the old um uh jazz hands. oh god that arcade game no when, that arcade game where you would, to fight, you would have to do timing with oh yeah dirk yeah. dirk the daring or whatever it was like like bloom animation okay all right i don't know what you're talking about you lost me Zero idea. What you never Bloom? played that that arcade? It was like it was it was Dirk the Daring with his sword and his shield, and you have to go like left now, dodge now. You're talking about Dragon's Lair? Yes. Did you say Dragon's Lair? Why? Who the fuck is no, Dirk the Daring? I couldn't because I had Dragon Age and Dragon's Dogma and dragging my nuts <laughs> in my fucking brain. I couldn't think of the fucking title. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> sure. Damn. <laughs> yeah let's go with that uh, i'm saying it's a, like i talk about like my brain is it's, it works like that and it's it's terrible like don't you, know, <laughs> you, you don't you don't want to get in that brain no That's... come back please <laughs> i'm drowning i'm treading water buddy where are you i need you back now i'm just the color commentator i'm no good at being the sidekick Talk to me about Angerfoot, Zeke. How do you feel about it? that's a game you've played? Oh man, I did play. I played the demo of that. Angerfoot looks fucking awesome. <laughs> that's gonna come uh, out. It this is. Year. God damn, man! It's got it's got raucous music. It is just in your face. Like you you fight everything with your foot. Like every door you come to, you break it down with your foot. Every enemy you see, you can. I think you can shoot in it, but you just. I said no, no guns no, when I was playing the you demo. Don't shoot. Yeah, you, yeah, you kick. You hit them with your foot. Yeah. And everybody, like, it's it's very uh, hi-fi rush in that everybody in the, every, like, NPC, enemy, whatever in the game is, like, dancing. Like, <laughs> like in the demo, it was like... <laughs> it's and it's like, honestly a little, yeah. like, I can't play that game, and I couldn't play that game for more than, like, an hour. Because the constant just noise, it, it I was, that's where I was like, ah, I'm old. I can't do this anymore because <laughs> it was just nonstop drum and bass at maximum volume. See, I, I, I want, I don't think that's the case. I really don't think that's the case, JP. I well, think it's, it's because you didn't mind it in Hi-Fi Rush. Everything was loud and dancing and moving and the music was going. I just think it's the music is not your taste. Uh, um, maybe. Yeah. I, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah, what I miss be, might be the case. Uh, Zeke had an existential crisis and freaked yeah, out. Yeah, I did a little. Yeah. Yeah. I needed you here. I'm so glad you're back. <laughs> oh, hi. you freaked out. I can't glad, carry glad the show with JP. It doesn't work. <laughs> the chemistry is all off. He was he was gone. <laughs> he was lost. It's like where there's H2O. You take one of one of the H's away. What else you got? You He's got gone. something completely different, and it doesn't even work, and it's probably toxic. He's gone. He's out of here. <laughs> He's out of here. Talking about anger foot, uh, but we anger can, foot. Yeah, we can go back because we we the, the official anger release. Foot. We all did, yeah. Uh, the official release date, September the 9th, got delayed all the way back to September the 9th. Warhammer 40k Space Marine Two, which folks I think are pretty excited for. Would you say that that's like the the pinnacle of the Warhammer IP in video game form at this moment? Co? Rogue Trader. No, Space Marine Two. Oh, spa- well, I would say Rogue Trader is. To be okay. honest, I, I, guess I think fair. I think, yeah, I would say Rogue Trader is the pinnacle of of all Warhammer 40k games. Not because it's the best of them necessarily, although I think it would be, but <laughs> mostly because it's the it's the one that brings in the most lore. Mm. It's the one that brings in the most like feel of Grimdark. Um, like some of the characters have just been 
incredible. Uh, some of the the stories have been awesome. The dialogue and stuff is is the the, the dialogue writers of of Owlcat plus the themes of, of Warhammer Warhammer 40k have made some incredible scenarios and situations. Um, but no, I'd say I'd say 40k is in terms of the world and the lore. Yeah, where do you put in Space terms Marine of just too? being a giant badass like the gameplay? I would say that Space Marine is is prop Space Marine one at least and two is looking like uh, it is probably where to be for that. I would also argue maybe that uh, Dark Tide has actually made some big, some very big strides. Yeah. But the the thing about Dark Tide is that the characters you play, I would argue, are not like iconic Warhammer 40k. Like they're cool. Like you get to play a Psyker and an Ogryn and stuff like that. But I mean, the the Space Marines are you know like the heavy hitters of the Warhammer. Like when you think Warhammer 40k, a lot of times the first thing you think of is a Space Marine chapter, whatever your favorite one is. Yeah. So I think that um. Space Marine 2 is probably going to take the the crown from everything we've seen in terms of just like that raw visceral feel of you are the Warhammer 40k Space Marine and it's looking good. Yep. Looking real good. Still a little nervous they delayed it as long as they did. I'm I'm very interested in like what was the impetus in that? Um you know, was it was it like was it out of was it born out of positivity where it's like yeah our game is good but we want to make it great or was it born out of like we can't release this right now? Yeah, I guess <laughs> Which you always is have to worry. Always about that. more concerning, yeah, yeah. because there a, a lot of times, unfortunately, with the latter, there may not be a satisfying conclusion to that. It's there's there's almost always a satisfying conclusion to this is good. Let's make it great. Let's make it amazing, because you know you already got something good. But in the latter, you know, it's kind of like we may never get it to that point. Sure. Um. So, yeah, we'll have to see. But I gotta say, like, I'm kind of surprised it even got delayed. What they showed looked great. Yeah, the I mean, previews tons for of it enemies on really the screen. Cool. It seemed to be running fine. Like all the animations it, seemed good. It could also. I, I mean, it, you kind of mentioned it. it. It could just be a performance pass because, uh, like, some of those previews are crazy graphically yes. with just how much like with the amount yeah, of creatures. How many on things the are screen? on the screen? It it could yeah, have just dude. been breaking low end systems. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. It makes me wonder if like to getting the to those to get that amount of creatures on a low end system, like did they have to drop in like five polys a piece or something? <laughs> I don't just know. look like a sea of polygons <laughs> vibrating as they attacked yeah. you. Like I don't I don't know. I don't know. What game are we talking about? We're talking about Space Marine 2. Yeah. 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 Uh that's September 9th. Getting back to our uh, to be announced list, we're in the A's. Arc 2 is supposed to come out this year. That's still a thing. Uh, if it does, it'll definitely take over the Steam world. That's for sure. Arc 1 is is massive. Um, it has a huge player base. And this has Vin Diesel. So you know it's going to have a ton of people in Arc 2. Because Vin Diesel is so hot right now. In the world of uh, so Hollywood. So hot right now. He's so big. So hot. So, so big. big. Yeah. So hot. Uh, uh, the last game in the A's which we're actually going to see more of on the 18th is avowed uh with uh with Xbox. Where where's your hype at with that co is it I want to see more. I remember in they showed extreme. some they showed some gameplay of it and yep. th- how would you say that gameplay changed uh the perception of the game for you? It all to just Not make a you more excited. Thing. I absolutely like I I the the things that I'm looking forward to in avowed the the game the gameplay and that style of stuff looks fine for me it's not that fo- that's not the focus of the game for me it looks like it's going to be fun which is fantastic i'm all for it but the big thing i'm excited about with avowed is seeing like what first of all returning to that world i'm a huge pillars of eternity fan so being able to return to that world in any medium i'm i'm thrilled to do um, I, I think some of Obsidian's best writing outside of like New Vegas was in the PoE franchise, even two. And I didn't even like some of the, some the PoE two had some of the best side content. Main story was a little lackluster, um, but even the side quests and characters and stuff were awesome. So I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to see what Obsidian is going to do. I'm excited to see what adventure or theme brings us back to this world. Um, I don't even like know if they've even placed exactly when this game is. So I'm very interested to see, especially with the the ending of PoE 2, like how they're going to make all this work, um, specifically with that big green crystal, which is called Adra and everything. So I I am um, very, very pumped for this game. Cool. One of my most anticipated. Yep. 
They're yeah, gonna... I'm, I'm with someone from your chat. Uh, who was it? Uh, fuck, I can't. I can't. Uh, oh, Pixel Chaos. I think I didn't know this was a Pillars game. No idea. Yeah, it's in the same universe. This yeah. this game is in the oh, yeah. exact same <clears throat> universe that Pillars of Eternity One and Two takes place in, uh, which is Yora, Yorzia, and uh, it it is it is a vibrant, deep, interesting world. It is a super super cool, interesting universe and world. So, yeah, I I very the thing that I'm a little worried about. Will there be reading and a lot of it? Maybe oh, no, not. No, probably not. Actually, they're probably going to go the same path as Outer Worlds which is their their other kind of first person adventure game and in that one it was fully voice acted. So I would I would assume that they're fully voice acting this one too. Although there there almost will definitely be some reading as you get like, you know, books and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, kind of like in a Skyrim or something. But I would guess that you can uh, you can ignore them like Skyrim. Yeah. Right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, but good. especially okay, now okay, okay. especially yeah. now that Obsidian is bankrolled by Microsoft, I would expect honestly, I would expect nothing less than full voice acting. We'll see. Just like I'd say the same thing about Inexile's new game coming out, Clockwork, whatever. Revolution, yeah, which also looks amazing. Is that what's the I don't name? Of that? It's 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 some kind of cool steampunk timey wimey thing. Yeah, I, don't I forgot what the name of that game was. I'm, yeah, I, I've only I saw the trailer once, and I was like, okay, sold. Like, <laughs> I'm, yeah. not, I'm not gonna look at that anymore. I'm just gonna get excited and wait for it. So, yeah. Clockwork Revolution. That's right. Revolution. Thank okay, you. there you Thank go. You. Yeah, uh, we no, will I'm, learn... I'm super pumped. Well, uh, Vald will be there on Thursday at this Xbox event. Uh, what else did they say? We could just talk about that now. What else was going to be there? I got to pull up that the Xbox blog or whatever it is. Uh, the Xbox Wire. Where is it? Uh, it's the Xbox Developer Direct 2024. Uh, Avowed will be there. The Indiana Jones game will be there. Uh, which, Zeke, you might be interested in that because I know you like Indiana Jones. Machine Head Games is making that, which is the people that made Wolfenstein. Like the most recent Wolfenstein, so that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I. We're out in the we're out in the timeline, or I guess I have what no year idea. Does this take place. It's, okay. I don't know if that information's been out there. Um, I'm just wondering if they're sticking with what they know. It's like it's going to be like you know, like 1940s <laughs> Germany theme. Perhaps? Yeah, I th I think this is going to be the big <laughs> reveal of it. Um, it it says. It'll have uh, details, uh, showcase more than 10 minutes of game and developer insights, including details about the game story, setting, how fans will actually play as indie, additional details from his next globe trotting adventure, and the premiere of the first gameplay trailer. So you're going to get all of it uh, on uh, on Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, Avowed is, what do they have for that? It says, learn more about how Obsidian's expertise in world building, uh, or sorry, in building worlds with deep themes, dynamic gameplay, and thoughtful reactivity come to life in a valid where players will have agency to make choices to shape every step of their adventure. That, I hope that's not just... I it's very see, buzzwordy. Yeah, that's... Very buzzwordy. <clears throat> yep. Huh. Yep. Okay. I completely agree. It's one of the reasons I'm very excited to watch this thing on Thursday. Let's see what they I'm, got. I'm, I want to see if it's just buzzwords or I want to see if there's some oomph behind it. Yeah uh aura history untold will be there um that is a civ style game i think a strategy game uh real real quick about the indiana jones game this this stood out to me uh from the games radar uh games radar article said uh uh the studio machine games studio responsible for wolfenstein blah, blah 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 we also know that bethesda game studios head todd howard has a hand in production huh. and that just yeah yeah that just stood out to me a little bit <laughs> yeah i don't know that's strange uh that's a little strange um he, the first the first thing in chat uh-oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. uh-oh i don't know what that means uh oh chad is saying he's executive producing uh one one chatter is saying that so yeah i know okay. I, we'll I figured it wasn't like making the game i was just thinking just they mentioned it so i thought i'd mention it what if you just play as Todd Howard and not Indiana Jones? What if you play as Todd Howard as Indiana Jones? <laughs> See Todd Howard do the switch thing like in yeah. front of the pedestal. Yeah. You have your choice. You can play. You can play as Indiana Jones or Kentucky Todd. I would be into it. At that, that Kentucky, gets me in. Kentucky Todd. I'm on Actually, board. Should it be Shouldn't it be California, Todd? Uh, he, look. <laughs> Wherever he's from, yeah. Guys, he's already got the jacket. He wore it during the Fallout 76 announcement or whatever that was. Oh, my God. We've seen dude. it. 
We've seen it. Uh, and then the fourth and final game that's going to be there is Sinewa Saga Hellblade 2. They're going to be showing more of that. Uh, this was also the same place um, event-wise in 2023 where Hi-Fi Rush got announced and released. So I wonder if they're going to try to do that again or if that's a one-and-done scenario, like if they're going to have some sort of stealth announce and release here. Um, hmm. I don't... Again, I don't know what it could be. I didn't know Hi-Fi Rush was a thing uh, that, that was completely out of nowhere. So if that's the case, could have a cool thing to play um, Thursday if they go that route again because um, it seemed to go so well for them last year. We'll see. Uh, we'll probably cover that, like uh, like we said, uh, at the halfway show or beginning of the show. Uh, we'll cover it together. 3 p.m. Eastern Thursday is when that's supposed to go down. Uh, getting back to the long list, uh, we can kind of run through these a little bit faster. I'm just looking at the list. I will say anything that comes out to me. Baby Steps. That's the game where you play as me, right? And it's from the, from Bennett Foddy. <laughs> yeah, it's from the, yeah, the getting over it, Dev. Yeah, that's the, that's me. Yeah. Yeah. This game looks great. Yeah. I'm excited for this. I'm excited I'm to like be getting the game over it. This one looks like it might be fun. <laughs> hey getting over it was 2016's game of the year seek okay we all we all were there there's me right there hanging out on the couch did, did you have a, like a high fever pneumonia or something when you made your list uh no that was just the best uh that was best game of the year undisputed yeah nothing else came out uh this game looks great i can't wait to play it it's definitely yeah. This is quintessential streamer bait here, YouTube bait, mm -hmm. in terms of the actual content. But uh, it looks fun. It looks. Did like you a lot see of fun. the uh, the tweet recently from Devolver on this? No. What did they say? <laughs> it's just this guy like stuck in a cactus, like trying to walk, and it's it's, it's very help me step, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just love I love the look of this game. I, it, yep. it looks like it's gonna be as i could watch this all day it, it seems like it seems like it's a, a like quap and only up with a budget yeah exactly it looks like it, that's a great way to pitch this game um and that they're like self-referential on how stupid this is that like they know the game that they are making is a stupid one and so they're celebrating it by just recognizing yeah this is a dumb game we're gonna watch a jackass watch someone else roll down a hill that's what i want also there's this guy i think in that bennett foddy yeah. i think that's actually oh, bennett foddy might be yeah it looks ridiculous uh we don't have a release date for it just yet <laughs> i forgot the character does look like you it's 100 percent me yeah that's funny it looks straight Wait, does he like even me. have glasses yes or wait i think oh he does God uh i think that's part of the deluxe yeah, edition yeah yeah he does he does yep 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 yeah he's got like harry potter glasses though not he doesn't have the the square yeah. bifocals yeah um baby steps looks fun we'll see when it comes out uh hopefully this year that's yeah that was out. a by the way that was a lot of fun to mocap uh because they just they fed me like shots of jack daniels and they were nice. like all right now go and i'm like wherever you want i'm in here we go <laughs> Woo! I fell over. Yeah. Worked out. I thought Core Keeper was out. Is that not 1.0, Co? No. You've played a lot Core of Keeper's it. Core Keeper's not 1.0. Okay. Nope. It's been it's been getting it's there there um I don't know the best terminology for it, but there's a certain type of EA where you basically release at like 0.5 and then you 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 to 1.0 and each of those points are like a giant content update. Mm. Um, it's, it's a different way to do EA because a lot of EA is just, here's the EA. Okay. Here's the 1.0, like sons of the forest is a good way, a good example of that. Yeah. But there's other, there's other companies. Uh, Larian was also a good example of this with BG3, but they, they really put like a huge amount of effort into each of their releases. That's what core keeper has been doing. So they had like the, cool. the sunless sea update and like the you know, pet update and all this stuff. And they're hitting 1.0. Yeah. Satisfactory does the same thing as well. Grounded yeah. as well. Yep. All that yeah. stuff. What lost epoch and other good ones. Yeah. But it's not 1.0 yet. It is going to hit 1.0 this year. And I know many, including myself, are very excited to return to it. It has come a very long way since I played it uh, last year or the year before. I've actually been playing some Core Keeper with my son, Rowan. 
And, oh really? Uh, seeing yeah, seeing the new things they've added and everything is is it's different game level worth of extra stuff you can do and and he's in like he's into it. He can he can oh he loves it huh yeah, that's his, cool yeah, his that, games that right game now could be are huge like, then yeah oh he, he's uh, that and Terraria are the two games that he's been spending a lot of time in lately, oh so. sure that makes that makes sense Terraria is great I'm very proud of my boy yeah yeah you've got <laughs> you've got him on a good path you've got him on a good path I do uh, upstairs playing Minecraft Legends right now there you go Earth Defense Force Six supposed to come out this year that should be D -D -F. that should be just properly silly. Uh, we'll, we'll prob, uh, we should probably contact Rami on that and do a, a group sesh of it. Um, <clears throat> what else? Final Fantasy 14 Dawn Trail is supposed to come out at some point this year, this summer. Um, Foam Stars. That's that Square Enix game that they announced where it's like Splatoon, but with foam. It's Splatoon. <laughs> It, it is a yeah. it is 100% Splatoon. Yeah. I heard a bunch of uh, folks that actually played that and said that it was surprisingly fun. Not only that, I've heard a lot of Splatoon players say that they love it. Yeah. So maybe so, maybe that works for Square. It might be a Splatoon Plus situation where yeah. they like take the fun parts of Splatoon and grow it out to what those, those types of players and fans want. Yeah. Maybe so. Cool. I feel cheated every time I hear about that game because I'm like, "Ooh, that sounds awesome!" And I look at it, I was like, "Oh, it's not like a foam party." <laughs> no, 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 not at all. It's uh, it's like an anime foam <laughs> Splatoon game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Forever oh, Skies is hitting one point oh. Yeah, great one. That's Forever Skies. 1. If you it, that that is uh, Forever Skies is also known as Sky Nautica. Oh, really? That's that's how you okay. I, I again there's so many early access games that I just thought were already 1.0 and Forever Skies is one of those games for me but I I guess it's not. So No, no, Forever Skies is it, it, it's very similar to uh to Core Keeper. It's undergone a lot of of work and blood sweat and tears all that good stuff. So very much looking forward to that release as well. Yeah. Uh Frostpunk 2 supposed to come out this year. A lot of people obviously mm -hmm. excited for that. Frostpunk 1 uh, I would say was very well received uh Ooh. What, are you looking at greedfall 2 is that what's got you no, going the, i i didn't realize the gothic remake was this oh yeah year. i skipped over that yeah gothic remake did they is that like confirmed somewhere let us see gothic remake 2024 what do they say oh i typed goth remake that's a whole different search uh <laughs> it does say that it was confirmed via a Global tech radar post, huh? Got the Gothic remake is shaping up to be awesome. It has a very, it has such an interesting story behind it too. So like, they they released a Gothic remake, and I use a remake in quotes. Gothic remake demo, and a lot of people, including myself, played it, and we really enjoyed it. But the thing about it is, it wasn't a remake. It was a reboot. Mm. So there was another large vocal part that was like, we don't want this. This is not what we want. We want you to remake Gothic 1. We don't want you to reboot it. We don't want it to be different and weird like you're making it. We want it to be like what Gothic 1 was, but new. And the devs were like, you know what? Okay. <laughs> sure, let's do that. That's what you want? <clears throat> okay, cool. And that's what they've been working on. So they, they actually canceled like the reboot. And for those wondering what the difference between a reboot and a remake is, uh, a reboot is when you take the original IP, but you change it, you reboot it into something else. So it may have the same characters, locations and stuff like that, but they generally like totally throw out a lot of the other parts of it and just remake it in its own new rebooted image. A remake is like the most recent Demon Souls, where you just take the original game and you just remake it in a new engine. Same characters, same locations, same dialogue. Like that's, that's a remake. It's a one-to-one -one remake. Ray reboot is not necessarily one to one. It's different in a lot of ways. So, yeah, that's and apparently that's what we're getting. We're getting like a, a much more true to form remake uh, than the reboot they originally tried to sell us. Cool. And oddly enough, that's like cool. I've great. been waiting for this because it's one of those games that people have said like, "Oh, you never played Gothic? It's great!" Blah blah. And I was like, "Oh, let me look it up," and I see that they're making a remake uh, of it, and it's coming soon i'm like oh great and it's been on my wish list for a long fucking time so i'm actually like i'm actually really excited about this 
because it, it's kind of like the like system shock like i never played system shock but they were making a remake so i waited for that it actually came out i played it it was great it did it so i'm doing the same for this one and i'm really hoping that it comes out sometime yeah, yeah. uh great fall 2 that was i remember mm -hmm. when that was announced great is it safe to say that's double a would you say that's a double a project or would you say that it hits triple a because it's got a it's lot of money AAA. behind it it's not, not triple AAA. okay if it's anything like Greedfall, <clears throat> yeah it's not triple a okay um i i would say like low double a <laughs> okay yeah. it Greedfall had some pretty significant issues Okay. It's still fun. I enjoyed it. I beat yeah, it. Yeah, you, you played a lot. Um, of and I'm probably gonna do it. I'm probably gonna do it again before the second one, actually. So I mean it was it was a fun game, but it definitely had a lot of questionable okay. situations. <laughs> That's supposed to come out this year. Harold Halibut is finally coming out. Uh that's that like claymation oh, stop the claymation motion game. game. Yeah. Their um, latest trailer made me significantly more interested in that game. That game is here, I I don't mind showing it because it is a yeah. A game I've I don't think I've ever seen before, um, in terms of how it looks. I I can't believe that's a video game. It, it's insane looking. Um, that this and is the whole how, premise is super interesting too. Yeah, like the the world they're in and what they're dealing with, and yeah, it looks it looks very cool. It looks really really cool. Um, doesn't have a release date except for twenty twenty four. Um, I'll skip ahead just so you guys can see a little bit more of it because I, I still don't believe it's a video game. It just looks absurd. Um, we'll probably, uh, I think I'll check it out uh, at some point whenever it does release. Um, scanning along in the H's. Hyper Light Breaker is the sequel to Hyper Light Drifter. Is that right? What is Hotel Bars? Oh. I don't know what Hotel Barcelona is either. Sweary and Suda 51. Oh, that's going to be Team up for a 2.5D action game, Hotel Barcelona. That's going to be it's an absurd a game. 51 game. That's a Suda joint. Zeke. Yeah, Zeke, that's you're going to jump into that. That's what that is. <laughs> you're going to jump into that, Zeke. Yeah, Put probably. it on your radar. Yeah, Hotel Barcelona. Um, Had, I hadn't heard of that. The hot new Kingdom Hearts title, skipping ahead to the K's. For iOS and Android. Skipping ahead out. to mobile, apparently. <laughs> Kingdom like, Hearts that's... missing link. I feel like I feel like for a, a something as big as Kingdom Hearts, it's like a coming soon to DVD. Like... I think I think that's their <laughs> second mobile game or maybe third mobile game. They've done uh, quite well. I wouldn't doubt it. I, I think actually, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, well, that's spoilers. Never mind. I was gonna say, isn't it the end of Kingdom Hearts three? And then I, not gonna do that uh mm. what else little nightmares three i forgot that was announced that's supposed to be this year uh that could be a lot of fun um lollipop chainsaw repop zeke liked that game i think mm. yeah i don't know if that's that yeah, was fun I, can, I don't know if that's a remaster or what or a reboot but they've got that coming out uh metal gear Man, solid I'm, delta I'm... snake eater I'm looking at this this uh, uh, teaser trailer for Hotel Barcelona. Yeah, and it looks fucking cool as shit, dude. Let's yeah. see. I'll pull it up. Like, like just the 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 weird enemy designs, boss designs, and stuff. It looks really cool. Skip into that is yeah, not this, what I expected this, to see. <laughs> yeah, this part of it. Not so great, but when they when they sh like tease some of the like the bigger enemies and the bosses and stuff, you'll see what I mean. Okay, this, this looks like the developers' type of game, in my opinion. Uh, I don't even know what. Hmm. Oh, there, like this, like a chef in a wheelchair. Sure, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you then know, look at the back. It's an upside those, down boob lady. You're gonna fight. <laughs> are those boobs? Yeah. Yes, I, I believe so. Why did you a say shark that like with you... a unicorn with two unicorn horns? <laughs> Wait. And then a giant mech baby. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, like that man. shit. Am looks I gonna have? Am I gonna have to play this? Shit, dude. Cody, did you turn into a British man when you saw boobs? <laughs> you go. Are those boobs? <laughs> all those. All those boobs. Is it Tuesday? Isn't it? <laughs> oh man oh uh, yeah that game looks all those kiss poppies 
<laughs> don't, don't ever say, stop. Don't, uh, you're banned from saying that. That line is, <laughs> I'm removing it from your brain. What else is there? Uh, isn't Mugenix the next game from the Binding of Isaac guy? Or one of them? I feel like that game's been announced for a while. Um, Ed, yeah, Ed McMillan. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, Ed McMillan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's apparently slated for uh, 2024. Um, no oh, rest. Real quick, you, you skipped over one that I want to bring up. Bring it up. I'm, I'm skipping them all. I'm kind of excited about Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yeah, I skipped over that for good reason. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, no, I'm excited. That that movie is bad. It's a cult classic. In the in the if you if you're like if you're into like tr like fucking weird tropey uh, or not tropey um like just weird horror flicks. If you like that kind of B-rate stuff, Killer yeah. Clowns is is a is a classic, and they're making a game out of it. And I am I'm actually really excited about it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fucking funny. To me, that. That falls into the same, because I think it is the same developer uh, or publisher, uh, but that's like the last 80s uh, slasher film that they can uh, make a game out of because they've done all the others. So they're just like scraping the bottom of the barrel at this point. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's how you get that. Uh, the, the old killer clowns from outer space, the game. Yeah. Yep. No, it, it uh, the first time I saw it, it immediately went on my wish list. Yeah, yeah. Next, they're gonna have a critters game. Exactly. Uh, then what? What was? Oh my uh, god! Oh yeah. no, that's troll. Never mind. That's troll. Yeah. Um, I'm pulling from the list. No rest for the wicked. That's from the Ori devs, right? No rest for the wicked. He, I want to say that's the... um. Yeah, the private division. Uh, From Moon Studios, the yeah. award-winning developer of Ori and the Blind Forest. Yeah, yeah. this game looks yeah. pretty cool. Um, this game looks badass. I'm very curious about this. That uh, That yep. is coming sometime this year. Um, what else do we got? This is the one that the like the cut scenes looked incredible. Yeah. It, very, um, very, uh, it's the show that you love. Based on League of Legends. Home Improvement. <laughs> you just said the show that I love, and so I, that's... Based on League of Legends. <laughs> oh, Arcane. What am I trying to Arcane. say? Arcane. Arcane, thank you. Yeah, the the animation re reminds me a lot of Arcane. Like when they do the cutscenes and stuff. Yeah. Like it has a similar, like, that cool kind of 2D, but looks 3D. Like, it has a lot of cool of those those types of effects on it. Yeah. Yeah. Home Painted. Improvement. <laughs> Dude, Home Improvement's great. Good show. Yeah. <laughs> oh god I missed and it. he turned out to be a cokehead anyway what were we saying turned out man he was already mainlining that that's shit. true yeah he was pretty yeah that's a good he turned point. out to be that's some other stuff you could go with it's, him, but, yeah. i it, it's weird i one of the one of the maybe 12 books i've read in my life was was uh his biography his autobiography don't stand too close to a naked man and he goes he talks about that he talks about going to prison he talks yeah, about where he, drugs and stuff didn't he like snitch on his friends to get out of prison or whatever wasn't that like a, a whole thing well, this is taking i don't a know of a turn look you I, you brought it up i just said the word you you decided to dive into tim allen okay this is no neighbor got any crack <laughs> that I, that's what Wilson always wanted. He was a drug dealer. They, that, that was, is what, that, what, oh, yeah, was that their code? Yeah, the that's what they were Heidi, trying. He didn't offer was life Heidi advice. Heidi Ho when he was out and he would say that to like, okay. okay. Yeah, they would always shake hands. Why do you think Wilson never showed his nose? That's correct. They would always <laughs> shake hands. Nose. Just the scabs and everything. Yeah, go, okay, How you doing, okay. Wilson? And go. that's when the cocaine would uh, be ingested. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. It was all there. I picked up on it as a kid. That's how I got a Coke addiction, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what else do we got? Uh, Stalker 2 is in this list. Co is uh, most yeah. anticipated. I'm pretty hyped about that. Yep, a little bit. Yeah. Tiny little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. so now, Stalker 2, now, 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 take me through this. These are remakes of the older series. Nope. Is that true or no? Nope. No, they're not. Okay. No, this is a brand new... Brand, a new, brand new game. Ne next 
yeah, the next game in the Stalker there franchise. There was Stalker Shadows of Chernobyl, and then Stalker Clear Sky, and then Stalker Call of Pripyat. And funny enough, those don't happen chronologically. It actually is <laughs> Clear Sky, Shadows of Chernobyl, and then Call of Pripyat. There is a defined yeah. storyline that happens between those three. And Stalker 2, the first actual two, takes place, from what I understand, after the See, events of the last one. That's why I was confused, because there's like four games before they did a two. So I was like, yes. this has to be a remake, but it's not. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. But no, there's there were three games, and they all had subtitles, and then this is the first two. Okay. When did the first one come out? Is it oh, it's ten older, right? years later? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. The first one was Shadows of Chernobyl, and that one came out. Uh, it wasn't actually too far back. That one was uh, two thousand seven. So pretty, pretty far. Yeah, okay, but... okay. So I mean, seventeen, like seventeen years ago. So though, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, Zeke. How how dare you do that math and remind me how old I am? <laughs> Jackass. I was, no, I'm I just I'm say just that. saying, like, yeah, if. <laughs> If it's in the single digit two thousands, that means like <laughs> it's, old, it's, yeah. it's been out. For, it's been out for a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, funny funny story by the way. Shadows of Chernobyl came out two thousand seven. Clear Sky came out in two thousand eight. Call of Pripyat came out in two thousand nine. Damn. It was a very busy three years. Yeah. Stalker <laughs> and then was, they just they were, that was they were on yep. tear. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Uh, Silent Hill 2 is getting that remake sometime this year. Um, that's going to happen. Bloober. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Um, Which Silent Hill was that one? Like, story-wise? Or, or not, not story-wise, game-wise? Uh, that's the... God, I... It's one where you're in the city? I get... I think, okay, okay, okay. I think? That's all I needed. Yep. I think? That's all I needed. It's the one with the wife? I think? It's been a while since I've, I've played those games. Okay. Or yep. I've, I've watched those games played, I guess. Um, Star Wars Outlaws. That's the Ubisoft game. Um, looking, I hope, looking pretty cool. Yeah, I, I hope that... Uh, I have a lot of hopes for that. But <laughs> we'll see if they can deliver on, uh, on... on. I hope it's good. I hope she doesn't somehow find a fucking lightsaber. Uh, <laughs> I hope she stays, uh, you know, an outlaw. And and the fucking force is not with her at all in that entire game. That would be great. Uh, and I again, I'll double up. I hope it's good. Um, it could could be fun. I I think I think Ubisoft probably hopes that as well. Uh, they they could use some wins. Uh, they've got one right now. I would say with Prince of Persia yeah. and Skull and I'd Bones a is a game. So that's coming out right. And that's a win. I, maybe for Ubisoft. <laughs> is there? Finally shipping that game, and they don't have to worry about it anymore. Was that a pun? <laughs> no, but I guess it could. Yes. Yep. They're shipping out. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. I'll double down <laughs> on think. that all day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no date, though, on Star Wars Outlaws. I'm sure we'll see some, I would suspect, some game plan announcement for that in uh, Summer Game Fest sometime uh, in June, and we'll get to see when that actually launches. Uh, what else do we have here? I'm in the S's and the T's. You guys, God, there's the Lord of the Ring. Lord of the Rings Gollum is going to the Switch. What? How, well, they needed to get more shitty games on shitty consoles. <laughs> How do you make that sorry. game work? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Man, I actually mm. want to see what that looks like on the Switch. That's exciting. Uh, and how terrible it could be. <laughs> it could be really bad. Um, what is the first descendant? I feel like that's a thing that we... That's that's the Asian online game. Is that right? the butt game? Uh, Nani? Isn't that like the game that has the... One of the characters you can play with the... With the butt? With the butt. The bunny butt. Yep. Yep. That's the bunny butt game. There's a there's a bunny character. Right, how do I how do I Google this? Bunny, I don't know if you I I don't know if you just want to. Okay. Right, well, I'm your, doing it's your it. Your I'm fucking, doing it. It's your search. Wow. Well, I got some butts, but that's not okay. It's your search. Um, that's not mine. You're on a list. Uh, apparently so. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it supposed to be kind of like Warframey or Destiny or something like that? I think. 
we'll see. There's no date tied to it yet. How does she even get into those pants? It wow. might just be her legs. She might just be an android. Maybe so. I don't. Uh, um, what game are we on? Look at her. What game are we on? <laughs> <laughs> Zeke googled bunny. Yes, that is first descent down yes. a rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. And that's a pun, Co. Not really. I mean, anyways. <laughs> Wait a second. There. Okay, October eighth, twenty twenty three. This is in the Steam forums for First Descendant. Step one: Game devs make game with super gorgeous men and women. Step two: Discuss assets and how pretty they are. <laughs> Step three: Joke about Bunny's butt. Step four: Get banned by developers for quote sexualizing the characters. Huh? Is, is that real? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Like I mean, it, I guess it depends what they were sexualizing. I guess has a broad <laughs> like. Were they just posting oh, straight wow. up like hardcore? <laughs> like some of, some of these some of these replies, dude, are concerning. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, enough of that. We're okay. done with that. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's move okay. on. Let's move on. We gotta. We, we gotta go. I think it is next one. We gotta get yeah. out of here. Uh, it probably is <clears throat> next one. Yeah. Uh, Rise of the Golden Idol. That's the that's another. Oh Golden yeah, it's Idol a game title. Zeke yep. recommended. Yeah, yep. yeah, Zeke's. That's a that's a Zeke game, right there. Uh, also the Percy, Pluck, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Plucky Squire. That game's uh, been seen a couple times where it's they're in like the book and then the character walks out of the book. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's uh, looked real cool. We'll have to see how it plays. Um, I thought V Rising was already 1.0. It's another I great example stop. This of is a, like the 30th game I've said this. I thought that game was already. But no, <laughs> the, the thing is, though, is 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 it's great. V Rising is another fantastic example, like Core Keeper, Subnautica, Beauty 3, where it's like they keep having these awesome, like the last V Rising update, they basically reinvented their magic system. Um, they really? added an entire new giant zone. Yeah, I did a big playthrough again oh. of V Rising. Uh, they, they've adjusted the tiers and everything. It's it's like they made they made base building multi-level. I did so hear about that. Multi yeah. levels of your base in V Rising, which is just and it works great and it's awesome. Great. Um. Yeah. I I'm very much looking forward to V Rising 1.0. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will probably do another playthrough of that. I would love yeah, to do a slammer do this server. Show, man. As somebody just said in chat, their patches yeah. feel like expansions. Fantastic. That's, that's when you that's when you know a company is doing early I mean, access. I already, right, is when each of the patches feels like just an overwhelmingly cool amount of new content. I already put it. How how many hours have I put into that game just in like the early access launch? It you was, played a lot. I had fifty three like, hours was, into it. Holy dude, shit! There was a whole Twitch community that yeah. got like completely infatuated with that game for weeks. Few, I will. I will definitely months. play one point I would love to have a streamer yeah. server of that. That would be so fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for sure. I have one hundred one hundred ninety three hours. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! You played 193 a lot. hours. Yeah. I think you beat I me. I only have I have 132 and I have multiple playthroughs. My lord. Damn. BG, man. <laughs> Zeke was living in that world. Holy shit, yeah, dude. Yeah. Get it. Mm. Get it. Apparently. Ooh. Uh Visions of Mana, that's the new secret of mana game from Square. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty fun. Witchfire. That game's been uh, shown a couple times. That's like the It's like the shooter Dark Souls style game. Oh. I played this. You yeah. can play this now. Oh, yep. you can. You can. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is the one. I don't think I got a streamer early first look. I'm pretty sure you can just buy EA right now. Am I thinking about that right? Might be. Uh, I think it's on Epic, right? Yeah, I played. I played EA, dude. It was awesome. It was good. Like it was super cool. It, it's got like a, a lot of fun little roguelike elements. Um, the the combat felt pretty good. Like I I, yeah. It's solid, dude. It's a very solid product. Cool. I have a good time with it. We'll get 1.0 for that as well this year. Uh, World of Goo 2. I can't believe there's can't a second one of those. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I can't believe it exists. I'm so happy. One of the like big, big, uh, really the one of the first big indie games. That game was just all over the place uh, when it shipped a decade ago or some nonsense. Uh, World of Warcraft, of course, two, get an expansion. Two, two plus decades ago. Fuck you too. <laughs> Zenless no, Zone Zero. <laughs> it's uh, finally coming out this year as well. Uh, and World that... of Goo came out 2008. So we're at about, yeah. Pretty good amount there. 
God damn 16 it. years. God yeah. damn it. Yeah. That's too we much. old. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh, and that's just kind of a, a smattering of all the games coming out this year. We will, of course, be yeah. covering those and getting any updates. Uh, we use the list and just one more time. It's important to mention, that's only the ones that have release dates. Yes. It's only the ones that have been announced. Yes. And we're seeing, we've been seeing more and more games get announced and then come out the same year. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it, it. funny enough, I remember us talking specifically about how this year could be like a drought, like a pretty significant drought. And I'm wondering if our analysis was backed up a year. Because I'm wondering if, like, we're seeing a lot of the games from last year. We didn't even talk about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, did we, and all that kind of stuff. Just that it was um, coming out, yeah. Yeah. But we're we're seeing, like, a lot of the games coming out this year were ones that were supposed to come out last year. We're seeing a pretty good amount of new games, a lot of indies, which is good. But it makes me wonder if that drought that we were kind of somewhat expecting is actually going to be next year. Um, cause this year is not looking bad. It's looking, year is not looking bad. But we got games. <clears throat> Love games. Yeah, we got games. games. Coming out. We got games. Yeah, we got games so. to play. Uh, jpedia.net and gameinformer.com slash 2024. Where you can go find those lists of views. Co or Zeke, sorry. Please go ahead. Is it weird that, that like even in the TBA that Hades isn't in there? Uh, no. Uh, J they're just trying no, to screw you over from your list. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they've ever no, stated I would say, a year. I would say it's very weird. Yeah. Um, have they confirmed yeah. that it's coming out this year? I never heard that it's coming out. Uh, did they have Silk Song in there? I didn't notice. No, that was <laughs> not in there. Yeah, that's because <laughs> that game's never coming out. That's true. That game. Uh, funny enough, it's it's kind of crazy. It doesn't actually exist. <laughs> no. Um, they I showed think, a, They just... showed a thing. They're like, guys, we have to make a sequel to Hollow Knight. There's no way we can't yeah, do that. The studio <laughs> actually got shut down three years ago, and it's just <laughs> one rogue artist that's yeah. been kind of like carrying the torch, and you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Well, I guess we know what's my most anticipated at 25 then. Fuck. <laughs> that's that's correct. <laughs> that's correct. Uh, hey, I guess we should probably talk about this. Uh, just jumping to the news with the 20 minutes left. Been a rough week for Twitch. Uh, they, they, they... Been a rough week for game devs again. For game devs in general, yeah. Again, the, the 2024 is not off to a great start. Uh, there's been... Just layoffs everywhere. Um, yep. I think there was actually like layoffs Friday. Another huge amount. Unity. The Unity was a big one. Discord. Discord, yeah. Uh, multiple small companies. Yeah. Um, Twitch was another big one. Yeah. And then I've seen what's what's also really disheartening is, you know, we follow a, a lot of the people that, that we have dealt with over the years. There's this conveyor belt where it's like a lot of people try streaming get well known in the Twitch community, but not necessarily in the public space. They don't get the success that they like and instead go off into game dev. And we see that over and over, be it PR specialists or creator liaisons, or a lot of, a lot of folks just into game dev, graphic artists, coders, that kind of thing. And what's been really unfortunate is a lot of those people have been announcing recently that they've been getting laid off. Yeah. And, and it's, it's unfortunately indicative of like, you know, it just goes to show us there's a whole lot of layoffs going on that we're never going to hear about publicly sure. of smaller companies or companies that just didn't make their seed a or seed B in some cases, or, you know, like companies that aren't super popular yet. Maybe they're making their first game, but it's been, especially like the last couple months, like a lot of people have been getting laid off that are not part of these big public announcements. So. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's 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 been rough for sure. Um, do you, I mean, how much of it is due to COVID hire, COVID hires? A good amount. That's, a that was that was yeah. that was Twitch's big thing. Like they yeah. literally said that they're one of the big reasons they did their layoff was because years ago they hired for where they wanted to be in three years, and now here mm. we are three years later, and the amount of people they have now or had now were how much they wanted to have in three years from now. So they, the, the growth was just completely out of whack. Their projections were out of whack. That was their reasoning yeah. for the Twitch layoff. Yeah. Um, so I think, I think a lot of companies are probably, you know, in that, in that boat. Yeah. I mean, the, so many tech companies specifically uh, hired up during COVID. And, and now they're kind of being like, eh, maybe we can't actually support uh, as many folks as we, we once had when our 
company was, you know, growing by leaps and bounds and we were seeing records all over the place. Uh, but at the same time, like there are other things they could do to not have to fire 500 people. Cause they're still doing very well for themselves. <laughs> right. Like a lot of these companies are having still record profits, uh, year over year. Um, speaking of, did, did any of you catch the, the, the stream that Dan did? I caught some snippets of it. I did not watch it in okay. full. No. Um, okay. Yeah. I, I, I saw some of the, the headlines where uh, he very candidly was like, no, Twitch has not been profitable. Um, I think he was asked a question I think about he said Twitch has <clears throat> never been, profitable. Twitch has never been profitable. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a difference for sure. In those statements. Interesting. Um, and then it's like, well, it was certainly profitable. <clears throat> people have sold it. Yeah. And- uh, well, I mean, a lot of people, Amazon bought Twitch because of the tech, not necessarily because of the website. Um, and they've utilized that tech and a bunch of other things. Uh, you think, you think I'm wrong about that? I mean, I think Dan said uh, that. I mean, I, I think, I, I think that Amazon likes money. Sure. But I'll just leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> like I, 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 I can certainly see the technology and stuff being a, part of it but i i think that they also thought that they could possibly shore it up and then offload it for more at a later date. yeah that, that was their hope i think it still is their hope in a lot of ways potentially um but i i would there's not like what tech the, the streaming tech i mean they they utilized it and and so that's why kick exists that's the tech but that like, amazon bought so that's aws that's that's the that's the, the a lot of the back end stuff i don't think that came necessarily a lot from twitch I'm pretty sure it did. <laughs> I think I think did it's it? the complete opposite of that. Yeah, I, I think most was of AWS that... from Twitch. No, no, not AWS. AWS is a completely different thing. It's it's the streaming tech of Twitch that Amazon then implied. They now sell to they, they, they sell yeah. it and then sell to other companies. Yeah, totally. See, I thought yeah. I thought that was I thought that was not necessarily because of Twitch. You know what? I think I, I think, think it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I would say that's interesting. I I might be wrong about AWS. This, from what I, I understood, think. was just like the cloud service stuff, and it, then AWS is not what they bought. That was a completely separate thing. Yeah, yeah, completely separate thing. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's Chad is saying it's labeled uh, Amazon IVS. Amazon IVS. Yeah, that's the which I had never heard to be honest. Yeah. I just know that they sell a lot of that stuff and utilize it on a bunch of different platforms outside of Twitch. Interactive video service. There you go. Yeah. That that's essentially what that was Twitch's tech. That is Twitch's tech. Yeah, it's video streaming Ooh. stuff. Um, yeah, that that was they actually talked about that a little bit at TwitchCon. The the JTV guys, it was it was I pretty know. fascinating. Yeah, IVS chat VS. Not <laughs> yeah, it's not IBS. They don't have yeah. the irritable. They, so they that's <laughs> create <irritable> yeah. bowel <laughs> syndrome. <laughs> that is that is interesting though. That is interesting. So the premise would be <clears throat> that Amazon bought a company that was underwater for its technology. So if that's the case, what would be, what is, is the fact that we're still here on the platform? Like for instance, most of the time, like, like, you know, a lot of times when companies buy other companies for the tech, they buy it for the tech, and they decommission it. They take it down. They stop at hemorrhaging. They incorporate the tech. They go from there. Yeah. But they kept, I had, I had, I had this discussion and it's like the YouTube model. Google bought YouTube. Uh, uh, YouTube came around in 2005. Google bought them in 2006, and they were not profitable until 2010. Well, see, that, that's so, my point. Do you think Amazon? I'm, I'm guessing them maybe the like turning them into a yeah, okay, yeah, essentially. Yeah. That's 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 what I was like. The, the 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 idea I've always had, especially since the last few years ago, was that they were building up the technology side of Twitch specifically to then sell it as a product to someone else. Like in mm. a, and I and I still think they're kind of in some ways headed towards that direction. Yeah, but yeah, it's because I mean the Twitch is never going to make as much money as Amazon, you know, or or any, any most of the ventures that Amazon does. It's just not set up to do that. So it's it's it is interesting to see why they still keep it afloat and everything. Yeah. Although maybe the new encoding stuff is a big step for that because that'll save them a huge. Yeah, we we should talk about that. Uh, Ten minutes is not enough to discuss the uh, the like AV one stuff that they. We also got games to talk about. We got all sorts of stuff. Yeah, we got a lot. Next shows we we got stuff to discuss for sure. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, some of the other stuff that that came from that stream, Zeke, I, I did you watch it in full? Because I'll I'll bring up the like headlines. No. That are, okay, you did no. not. 
He was asked directly, uh, chat will have to tell me the exact quote, but he was asked directly if Twitch Prime will ever go away. Um, and I think he said oh. something to the effect of like, we want to keep Prime on. Prime will always be around in some form. In some form. That's what the headline was. Yes. Yes. And that's, that's I, I very quickly afterwards put up my tweet. <laughs> that oh, got yeah. a little bit of traction where I was like, yeah, I'm calling it now. Amazon Prime or Twitch Prime is going to turn into a, a sub discount. Yeah, it is no it, Twitch Prime is no longer going to be a free sub. They're just going to make it a discount off a normal price. Yeah, that or they're going <sighs> to enable ads for Prime subbers for Prime subs. I could see that happening before they remove it. I feel like if they remove that, it that I mean, and then, <laughs> like holy shout shit! Out, shout out our, our shout landscape out to changes at that point. Oh, completely. <laughs> yeah. We we lose we lose the streamers will lose the raise that we got when Amazon bought Twitch. Yeah. Because that's that's basically what happened. Amazon bought Twitch. They put in Twitch Prime. And what Twitch Prime is, is a raise for streamers. It is a raise. It is a, you're doing great. Here's a lot more money for doing the exact thing you're doing. So now we're here where they're like, yeah, that was a terrible idea. <laughs> that is That was a horrible idea. Yeah. Because basically every Prime sub means that someone out there isn't paying a penny more, but Twitch then has to pay someone two dollars plus <laughs> so it's and that adds up big time yeah. arguably if you think about it that could be one of their leading loss generators in the entire platform is the prime sub system um if you think about how many prime subs are out there if you look through the top like the top 100 sub channels and add that up and then realize that's just literally money gone every single month yeah uh, it's insane because most most streamers a lot of people don't know this most streamers have 50 plus majority percent of their subs as twitch prime subs yep it's a massive amount and it always yep. has been. So um, it's uh it's wild. It's absolutely wild. But um yeah, what what's interesting is uh King of me and King Athalian got into a discussion on Twitter as we do frequently about random things, and he was looking at it from another perspective. And one of the things he said is he was like, I see Twitch starting to go to broadcasters and say, For your channel to be eligible to accept prime subs, you must run X minutes of ads per hour. Yeah, I can see that. I think and, uh, dude, that that is one that is, that was one of many ideas where I was just <sighs> like, oh no. <laughs> I mean, oh, I no. would. Am am I wrong in saying that <clears throat> most channels these days run at least one minute, if not I, three? You know, credit where it's freaking due. Uh, the last three years have been. They changed it. Is is renaissance in a word? <laughs> is that a word? Uh, um, I know, I know what you're trying to say. Yeah. In 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 lots of ways. Yeah. The, yeah, thank you. That's probably, that's a better way to say it. But in, in the last few years, there has been an, an ads renaissance on this platform where, where it used <laughs> to be where everyone was emphatically against them at all times. And now these days, it's not if you run ads. The discussion is how many how ads many do, do you run, run? hour? Yeah. And it also doesn't exactly <clears throat> help. <laughs> well, I guess it helps us in many ways, but now they have these crazy big ad incentive things coming out where, and for those, for those that don't know, just so you guys know, you can turn on automatic ads on your channel and Twitch will give you raw major double digit bonuses on your ad revenue just for using that feature. So you could, you could literally run three minutes of ads manually, or you could run three minutes of ads through their automated system. And if you do it the exact same amount of ads through the automated system, they will give you a massive bonus of your ad revenue. So this is, this is all little stuff where it's like, they're 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 forcing slash incentivizing many people to start like seriously considering that that happened in the past, especially smaller and growing streamers. Um, in fact, I don't remember where it was, but a while ago there was it might have been Dan, but a, a rather prominent Twitch person I remember no remember they were up the chain said that they want ad revenue to become the main form of revenue. I think it has outside for, of subs. It, once you get into the 10k plus. I mean, you're you're a part of that somehow, so or not somehow. I'm, I'm <laughs> that a sounds real minute, fucked up in, in some sense. But if if I'm I heard four Trout, minutes of ads per hour, and I am not in that really close. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I I yeah. can cite Shroud as of last week saying his ad revenue is his main source of income by a massive landslide. And so I think once you get up to those numbers, subs are like he said, subs are nothing compared to what I make from ad revenue. Um, and I, I a hundred percent believe that. How much ass does he run? My Lord. I, Three I, or four yeah, minutes. Probably. Yeah. I, I don't think it's anything out, outside the norm. 
um, mm. for those channels. But yeah, most it most can, channels. It can also, I mean, ten it can also be the, plus, I mean, Shroud so. has Shroud has two to four times my viewership right. every day. Right. So it that could be a big part of it too. Yeah. I mean, for for me, ad revenue is triple my sub my sub revenue just on my channel alone. So I I could see. Damn. You know what? I mean, go I, go I look at to, it. It's probably I'm, higher I'm, than you I'm think. I'm looking. I'm looking right now. Uh, there are definitely days. There, are, there are even a few days. I'm looking now between December 16th and January 14th. There are absolutely a few days where the ad revenue was larger than the sub revenue. Go, go month by month. Most break most it. days are not. Just break it down by a monthly thing to see how much you're earning from ads compared to subs. I guarantee you, you're making more from ads. <laughs> oh, are you I'm doing like there. their their auto ad program thing? Is that me? Uh, it's not auto, but I'm running, I, I'm signed up for that, but we control them. So it doesn't force it. But you get okay. the bonus. Uh, th there's not a bonus anymore, uh, for channels that are not in that contract. I was, I was at about, I was at about, <clears throat> wow. Uh, about, about 80% in December. Adds to sub. And about, and about 70% in so far in January. Yeah. Yeah. Man. That is wild. What the fuck? Granted, granted I happen. <laughs> if to, you're not look, I, I mean, to, the, the the if you're not running ads, you're an actual <laughs> idiot. <laughs> no, I'm I'm running ads. Yeah, I've been running ads. ads. <laughs> I've been running three minutes of ads every two hours for seven years, and it's always been about the same percentage. Like it's it's a little. It's like somewhere between ten and fifteen percent. Are you opted my, into their my thing? Total you, revenue. Are you opted in, dude? Are you opted into the fifty-five percent? Ad rev share? But that means you have to run ads at a certain point in time, right? No, you it, just have to run system, ads per minute. The system minute. runs the ads for you. Per minute, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's the system runs the ads for you if you don't run them yourself, is what it means. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. I'll, I'll have so to if you manually run sure. them, then you we, then the we force thing. Yeah, we force ads yeah. at the start of every hour. Oh. However, ads will run every hour no matter what. And it happens during like the show, for example, every hour on my channel. Three minutes of ads. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And there's that's, nothing no, I. No, that's 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 what I thought. Nothing I could do. Yeah. It will. It will yeah, run. And for, for yeah, the people per are asking, hour. If they if they made it per two hours, then I I opt in. But if it's like every hour, then it's yeah, whatever. Yeah. And for and for the people asking in chat what the number I was using earlier, they just went ahead and said it. So I'll, I'll go ahead and exemplify it again. Oh, it's been out 55 there. Fifty-five percent extra ad revenue. Fifty. No, no, no. It's it's not extra ad revenue. It's fifty-five percent of the split instead of what the normal split is on ad revenue. Which is what? I think it's in the 30s or so. I don't know if I'm breaking it. I mean, it's still huge. But it, yeah, it's a 20% bump yeah. from normal. 20% so like, bump. Which is still, I mean, that's, that's well, and, and even if you go from 30, again, if you go from low 30s to mid 55, it's actually more than 20% increase you're getting. Yeah. Um, but it is a huge, huge increase. A huge increase. Yeah. 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 It the, the We said it on this show so many times at the start of the pandemic, basically all those contracts that streamers signed to change yeah. the entirety oh. of ad revenue and how it's looked at on this platform were incredibly successful. Uh, yep. cause people don't bitch about it anymore. They don't like watching ads, but they just say ads and move on with their life instead of not watching. Now it also could have, you know, drove people away from the platform. I've seen that as well. Oh, but, dude, people are talking about that in my chat. Yeah, the majority right of now, people saying, are still saying, watching. This is why Twitch is dying. Absolutely. Yeah. If any, if anything, this is why Twitch still Twitch fucking exists. <laughs> like, I, I think the when they're when they're opposite. done with it and it actually is profitable. <laughs> yeah. I, I have to I have to admit it'll be interesting. First of all, two things. Uh, one thing to mention, Dan actually mentioned in those same Q and A's. Uh, he just said it publicly. They're not doing contracts anymore. Yeah, they're done. They, so, that's been like the the conversation for about. And a we kind of knew that the second they announced multicasting. Yeah, <laughs> like that was that, that was, was pretty much the nail in that coffin. coffin. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's uh, whole situation is is kind of weird. No, Twitch Turbo is a different beast. But that's Twitch Turbo thing, does yeah. count for ads. If you have Turbo, and and a streamer runs ads, you are part of everything we're talking about. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, God, I'm trying to. Are there going to be no more partners? Oh no 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 partner no no no. Uh, the contracts we're talking about <laughs> yeah. are like what I'm under right now, and I think JP is too. Where no, we're, no, no. we're under. Mine died a year wait. ago. Oh wait, no, I'm okay. I'm. You're right. Mine goes till sometime this year. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So that's that's what that's what we're on. So we're we're on. Uh, there's there's partner contracts. There's partner plus contracts, and then there is what's what are what used to be called exclusive contracts, but 
that is changing and there's going to be no more of this so yeah yeah uh yeah this was my uh this was my favorite my favorite tweet about all of that stuff uh around like the people losing their jobs from twitch and all that was from a former twitch employee and he said quote ads suck we hate ads and we'll never run ads no matter what quote end quote and then the next line is quote holy shit twitch loses money i can't believe it and that was it that's the tweet and like it's so fucking true <laughs> like, it's that was that was john one <laughs> yeah that was john <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> it's, it's like He's he's hundred percent fucking he's right. He's absolutely right. <laughs> no, but it's it's going to be interesting to think like what what does a profitable Twitch look like? Yeah, like what yeah, is is it right. is it still Twitch? And more importantly, what's going to happen when Twitch gets profitable? Yeah, because we've never seen that before. Like maybe okay. Op, again, this is optimistic co here, but I mean like. <laughs> Once Twitch starts making money, like, will we start seeing things get maybe better or more creator centric? Like the last, the last Ask three to, <laughs> the last three to four years essentially have been basically a slow grind of creators noses against the grindstone. Like it is, it has just been like pretty much like domino falling after domino of things that are not for the creator as, as they work towards profitability. So the question is, is when they get to that goal, is it just going to keep going? Are we just going to, are we going to keep seeing it at the clip we've seen it? Or like, are we actually going to start seeing con some concessions? Are things, you know, actually going to start leveling out, maybe even getting a little better for creators? It'll be, yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll I be mean, I'm, we need to wrap, but my last thing is I would love for someone to ask, and, and maybe it's even, I would love for Dan to come on the show and ask him the question, like, what are and a lot of the stuff you probably can't share. What are the internal steps at Twitch that you believe need to happen for you guys to be profitable? Because they probably have a roadmap for this year on what that is. And we'll probably figure that out from the slow drip of information that they're going to feed us. Yep. I bet you it's, it's not gonna great. It's going to happen. Uh, yeah. I know it's going to happen. Yeah. I bet Twitch, you Twitch some Prime, of that stuff is not great. No question. Twitch Prime's a part of it. Like, yeah. Like Twitch Prime Twitch Prime's going to be a big part of it. Um, I was going to add to that. Yeah, it's... Uh, they announced, they being Amazon, announced that Amazon Prime Video, which is like how you watch, you know, the Jack Reacher, what, any of the Prime Video content, uh, this month is adding ads unless you pay an extra $3 a month. I, I wonder if Twitch Prime will be added into you only get a free Prime sub if you pay that extra $3 a month on Prime Video. I, I could see that being a thing somewhere down the prime, line. Prime? Yeah. Are you do prime you, prime? No, that, well, <laughs> that would be, do you think you know, it, this is, this is where it gets interesting though, because if they were to do something Daddy. like that, then that would, Daddy. hold on, bud. I'm, I'm <laughs> oh, the cat's trying huh? to save you. That cat jumped into that. Okay. That's great. I'll be up in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, what's, what's, what's really interesting to think about is the fact that I, don't even know what we were talking about. Like, like, uh, Prime video and the, the, the ad Prime thing video. Okay. Added. Yeah, so for three, if, $3. If, <laughs> if, almost 40, take some time. <laughs> so if, um, if they were to do that, if they were to do something where paying Amazon would give you more freedom on Twitch, does that count towards Twitch's bottom line of profitability? Yeah, I don't know. How does that work? That's a good, good question. I mean, where does it even factor into, right? Where's Dan? Dan! Dan! We need, <laughs> I, we've we waited need long Dan. enough. I think it might be time to try to get Mr. Clancy on the show. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 But no, I like real talk. I would not be surprised at the first thing out of Dan's mouth when you were to say, like, what are the steps to making Twitch profitable? Would be the three words, like, rework Twitch Prime. Yeah. Something like, like that. I, I, yeah. We'll see. It's coming. Prepare. Yeah. Prepare. Now I get to figure out what the path to asking Dan to come on the show is when I don't have a partner manager anymore because he was let go this week. <laughs> you know, that's that's a whole new thing I got to figure out. That's uh Yeah. Zeke, do some awkward. shout outs. I know you got to go. Sorry for keeping <laughs> you over. Uh, yeah. Uh man, salute to all the tw the partner managers who left minded too. So, I'll be landing your feet wherever it is. Um and that goes for everybody uh from Twitch. 
Anyways, my name is Ezekiel III. You can find me at or slash Ezekiel underscore I on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. I'm in the middle of CD Romathon. So that means I'm playing nothing but CD ROM games the entire month of January. Uh, my pick is up next. Then your voted pick is up after that. We'll be playing whatever I pick on Tuesday and then probably whatever you pick on Wednesday. If you want to come out, come on out. Uh, I have role playing right after this. I'm doing a uh, Blade Runner tabletop role playing game on twitch.tv slash table story. Uh, immediately after this show, I'm probably going to cut out right after this. So see you there or on my stream at 10 a.m. Pacific every day except Monday. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you, Zeke. Sorry for keeping you over. I apologize. Got See lost. you next week. Got lost in the Later, bud. See ya. Uh, Co, do some shout outs. Sure. Hi, everybody. My name's Co. Nice to meet you. Big thanks as always to JP and Zeke. Uh, I'm going to be playing Prince of Persia this week. Probably more of the finals with Barry in the evening as we work through this bottle of Deep Eddies. Um, <laughs> also, we're probably going to be starting uh, maybe the Homeworld franchise playthrough. Going to be finishing up Rogue Trader. We just got to Act 5, so we're actually finishing this game after 110 hours or whatever. Uh, maybe some Path of Righteous, uh, Pathfinder Path of Righteous, and maybe a little bit of um, Baldur's Gate 3 Dark Urge runs, maybe? Possibly? We'll see. Anyway, it'll be a lot of fun. Also, quick note, as we run the outro today, uh, one of my, my moderators, my ex-moderators, um, is actually streaming, so we're going to be rating him today. So if you guys know Servani, you should go say hi to him because he is live and uh, and doing his fun things. So pretty awesome. Cool. But anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. As always, I will see you guys next week, if not before. And uh, have a great rest of your day. Fantastic. We will be back next week with another show. We got to go over a bunch of news now. We did an entire show on yep. 2024. Uh, maybe we can get to the past month of news. As well as games. Uh, we talked some of the stuff of what we've been playing, but maybe by next Sunday I will have beaten Fatalis. Please. I'm tired of playing games. We'll talk One about second. it. One second. What? Yeah? No? Yeah. Yeah, he made him invincible. <clears throat> Fuck. Sorry. <sighs> All right. Well. Apparently he lets you get to under a thousand hit points and then just you can't kill him after that. So, all right, well, we'll try again tomorrow and fail and then we'll be back probably the next day. Some more shit. Yeah. Let's call him Captain JP had man. He's a motherfucker. Facing his white dino. <sighs> anyway, have watching. fun. Yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next week. We're out of here.